Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Butch Valdez, kasama po uh, si Itos, Itos Valdez. At uh, dito po sa ating uh, katipunan, uh, na sumasa inyo every Sunday po at about uh, time 7 o'clock up to 9 o'clock. Uh, dito sa mga nakaraan na uh, linggo, nilarapat namin na uh, uh, buksan itong mga topics na kapalagay natin na ay napaka-importante hindi lang po uh, dahil uh, dahil nangyayari ito sa ibang uh, sa ibang dako ng mundo kundi uh, pinapakita po natin kung ano po ang inaharap ng uh, sangkatauhan at kasama na rin po tayo ngayon uh, madalas natin din sinasabi na kung ano man ang mangyayari sa Amerika ay may uh, may epekto. epekto, malaking epekto po dito po sa ating Pilipinas at hindi lang sa Pilipinas, sa buong mundo. No? And uh, it's important. It's important that we understand what's going on because the Philippines is not the world. Neither is the world the Philippines. No? But every time we, it's here in the Philippines, we tend to be thinking insular. No? Yeah. Para bagang uh, lahat na dito ay uh, ito na yung pinakamundo natin. Tapos sasabihin natin, ay pagdating doon, eh, uh, wala na tayong pakailam doon, wala tayong connection dyan. Hindi Pag po. Eh, eh. Na, hindi po ganyan. Na, alam niyo na, na may connection po tayo dyan. Na, uh, nalaman niyo na po, uh, lalong-lalo na dito sa mga parating na mga krisis, mga tension, mga Uh, kaganapan na posibleng nagkakagera, no? mga nagtututukan na mga uh, mga uh, tandatahan ng mga iba-ibang uh, mga bansa, no? uh, may, may kinalaman po sa atin. Because nothing that we plan here in the Philippines is going to mean anything or prosper if there is a uh, If there is a world war, if there is no peace, no? so our interest is there should be world peace. Mayon po, uh, nakaraan po itong uh, September 11, 9-11. Uh, alam po natin lahat na itong 9-11 is a very significant day. Not only because uh, for some people it's uh, <laughs> As they see it as the birthday, birthday of, of uh, President uh, Marcos, who would be about 103 years old, I think, by now. 1919. 1917. Okay. So, at any rate, <coughs> but 9-11 will be because of other things. Most especially, ito po na natatandaan po ng buong mundo. Uh, Nakita po natin sa television, almost live, na pinapakita ng CNN, no? na ito po mga aeroplano, tumatama po sa mga building, the Twin Towers na tawag nila. Sa dito, isa dito, at uh, uh, sinasabi nila, meron pa daw aeroplano na crash dito sa Pentagon. Alam nyo po yung Pentagon, it's like their uh, 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 Secretary of National Defense, yung mm -hmm. mga na parang headquarters ng militar nila. At uh, meron pang iba na... Meron pang Flight 93. Oh, meron crash sa uh, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. no? Okay. All of these were happening. And it was shown to us world television live. And napaka... Napakatindi po dahil uh, uh, all of us were shocked. Natakot, no? Ano bang nangyayari ngayon? Nag-uumpunan na ba yung kita? Ito ang kita ng Amerika. Sabihin mag- That's what you were afraid of. And of course, yung reaksyon ng uh, bansa ng Amerika. Mm. Uh, yung kanilang presidente, tanda siyang kalupate na lahat ng gumawa nito hindi niya papayagan at makawala at uh, kung saan man sulok sila ng mundo ay 
sometimes. And this this is the key. And uh, the key in the sense that it gave it gave the license in global approval, not just the congressional approval in the United States. It was a global approval that the United States was going to go to another country and seek out Osama bin Laden, who was supposed to be the culprit or my mastermind in planning out this uh, attack from uh, this from Afghanistan. <laughs> I don't know if some of you have been to Afghanistan, but Afghanistan is a Magugulat ka that these people have such geniuses that can do something like that. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, sabi Afghanistan. Di nagtagal, di lang Afghanistan, kundi ang uh, Iraq. Tapos nandun, nagkaroon po ng mga gera dyan, no? at nagpadala ng ma maraming maraming uh, sundalo at mga war equipment bansang Amerika dito at sinamahan siya ng mga iba-ibang bansa no? nagpadala din ng mga sundalo ganyan mm. ganyan so, um, na nanganak yung tinatawag nilang war on terror yes. global war on terror since walang hindi naman tayo world war 2 tulad ng Pearl Harbor uh -huh. na ngayon sabihin lang global war on terror oh, That, kasi yung terror she, na sinasabi nilang inatapi yung uh -huh. dalawang building Terrorism. Terrorism. No? At inuturo ina, nila kay Osama Bin Laden. Hindi natin masyadong uh, bibigyan ng marami pang panahon itong uh, uh, pagsang ito at this point. Ang sinasabi lang natin, ito ang nagbigay ng reason for them to enter mm -hmm. no? ang, ang Middle East in, uh, in, uh, in such great military fashion. No? Mm -hmm supposed to be looking for uh, the culprit. No? Mm. And the culprit was Osama bin Laden. And then after that, it was uh, Saddam Hussein. No? Weapons of mass destruction. Because though he had a weapon of mass destruction, <laughs> gagawa daw siya ng nuclear, nuclear bomb at aatakihin daw yung Amerika. Kanya, nagpadami, nagpadami, nagpadami silang mga mm. sundalo dyan at inatake na nila yung mga at sang ito at hinanap din si Saddam Hussein para patayin. Okay. Ang nangyari wala po talagang weapons of mass destruction at uh, pati yung pagpatay kay Saddam Hussein ay uh, medyo malaking question mark. Maraming nagsasabi mm -hmm. yung mga uh, yung mga alam niyo po na nagkaroon ng mga 18 18 tao na si SEALs, ito yung mga special uh, forces. forces ng uh, Bansang Amerika. Mm -hmm. There were 18 of them that went inside that compound of, of Osama Bin Laden and killed him. Uh, nobody found out where the body of uh, Osama Bin Laden was uh, placed because they said they threw him out to the sea. But I love you, Paul, yung 18 taong na supposedly nag-raid doon at pinatay siya. Lahat po yung 18 tao patay na rin. All of those 18 people that supposed to be participated in the killing of Osama Bin Laden, supposed to be, are all dead. At any rate, it was at this time na lumalabas itong mga pahayagan at mga anunsyo ng Bansang Amerika uh, we are going to implement or they are going to implement the new world order after 9-11 after after 9-11 the new world order uh, after 9-11 2000 2000 so uh, yun po ang uh, kanilang ano, ano ba itong new world order ito na po sila ginagawa na nila yung kanyang mga ginagawa. Uh, ang, uh, ang mga malalaking question mark hanggang ngayon, may suspecha 
na yung ginawa ang pag uh, ang pagpapasabog ng dalawang ng dalawang tore ng uh, World, ano Trade Center. World Trade Center sa New York ay kagagawan nila kinung sila yung pong mga mga nagplano nito no? ang nagsabi sa sabi nila may mga conspiracy ito ginawa nila ito pinasabog nila yung building para magkaroon ng excuse ang pamahalaan ng Amerika tumugod sa Middle East Paano nilang sinabi yung sinadya yan? Kasi pinakita nila yung eroplano. Pero ang sabi ng halos lahat ng mga galing na inhinyero, hindi lang, hindi dito po, sa Amerika, sa Germany, sa Russia, sa Italy, Japan, lahat ng mga galing na structural engineers. They said the building does not collapse in that way. Alus derecho kung bumagsak na ganyan and flattened out in 10.1 seconds. Bakit importante po daw yung 10.1 seconds? If you were at the height of that building, the top, and you drop something like a coin or a, anything, or a stone, it will take 10.1 seconds to reach the ground. So in other words, the whole building fell parang free fall. Ang normally, dahil may sabihin na natin na yung nasusunog, kung man babagsak yan, konti-konti, floor by floor, o ganyan-ganyan, but they say it was, it went into a free fall. Yung dalawang tore, Malaking question mark po yan. That's why there is a suspicion that it was self-inflicted by people uh, obviously who were heartless because there were 3,000 people who died there and many more uh, people who died in the attack in uh, the Middle East and into, into uh, Iraq. More than a million people died in this whole effort. <laughs> uh, people who died for no reason and no fault of theirs. It, only because somebody said Osama Bin Laden blew up the building. And now it's coming out. It was not Osama Bin Laden. The people supposed to be close to the administration of the United States at that time. Up to now, there is that big question mark, that very strong suspicion as to who were doing this. We now know that they must be, uh, what they call, the cabal, no? or the, the people that are quiet, that are under there, they're not, uh, they're operators inside the government that have been able to do this. This uh, the Lyndon LaRouche, dito po sa aming, uh, we, you know, we're part of this international organization called the LaRouche Movement. Nung buhay pa po siya at nangyari yan, ang unang-una niyang sinabi, tignan niya, ang um, uh, anong uh, dapat daw tanungan sa Department of Defense ng Amerika at itanong din sa Saudi Arabia uh, na nakakonsya ba nila kung sino ang nagpagawa nito Min meaning meron siyang uh, alam at that time or the suspicion niya that it was an inside job now, at that time when it was happening, all of these suspicions were not uh, entertained, di ba? Um, ano, hindi siya pinapansin kasi uh, masyadong conspiracy theories and all of that. But as the years went on, 
Uh, nagkakaroon ng mga... Yeah. Di ba? Yeah. So, nagkakaroon ng... Uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, investigations, uh, all of those things. Right. Um, gusto lang dagdag, no? So, since 9-11 happened po, um, uh, whether we... Marami pong naging investigation. May 9-11 commission, may, may different investigation by different states and even individual... Um, uh, plaintiffs nag-file ng case kasi namatay yung asawa niya, namatay yung firefighter, namatay yung police doon. And they did not give answers. Yung gobyerno po ni George W. Bush, yung anak po ni George Bush Sr. George Bush. The w, ang tinatawag. Siya po yung president. Um, when that happened, uh, immediately, sila rush po Si Lyndon LaRouche po, nasa ini-interview sa isang radio program uh, in Utah. And then, uh, mm-hmm. nung nangyari yun, sinabi na niya, it looks like an attack. Si LaRouche na nagsabi. Because as the news came on, nakikita niya, that was 9 in the morning, uh, United States time. 9 in the evening here, nasa news pa po ako, nasa newsroom ako, pinapanood. Kasi kailangan i-report na. We were watching the raw video. When that happened, LaRouche also said, Sino yung, sino yung ibibintang kaagad? Aside from the asking about sino yung, ano, ano yung, sino yung, uh, yung like, pagawa ng building and all of those things. Like, sinabi lang niya, sino ba yung binibintang? Ang, ang pinapalabas niya habang nag investiga because yung news padating ng padat, uh, padating slowly, uh, nakikita po niya yung intention. May suspecha siya and it turned out to be plausible that that this was what they call a false flag. Uh, F, a false flag operation. Ibig sabihin, uh, yung, yung mismong sariling bansa ang gumawa sa sarili niya. Para to do something else. What do we know after 9-11? Aside from all of the investigations na sinasabi yung po chairman na uh, bumagsak yung building parang at the speed of gravity uh, going down. Dere-derecho po parang demolition po. Pag nakita nyo po sa internet lahat ng parang demolition na building ganun po yung bagsak. Pinamaan daw siya sa taas pero bumagsak siya parang demolished. Dalawang building Tapos yung W World Trade Center building number 7 na 5 blocks away na mas maliit, bagsak rin siya. Wala naman tumawa na aeroplano. Ang, ang explanation nila, may, may, may mga debris daw na pumunta doon tapos bagsak rin yung ano. So, yung mga explanation. But what happened after that? So sabi nila, yung mastermind daw, si Osama Bin Laden. So kailangan... Mag, mag, mag ano tayo ng mga militar, pumunta sa Afghanistan. Nandun sila sa Afghanistan, ilang taon, hindi nila mahanap-hanap si Osama Bin Laden. The most advanced military in the world cannot find one man. Okay? Nandun sila, may war, may... Uh... Shortly after that, sabi nila, itong si Saddam Hussein of Iraq <coughs> may weapons of mass destruction. So, invade sila sa Iraq. After that, during Obama's time, Syria naman yung kalaban nila. Hmm. And they wanted to create a villain. Lumabas itong ISIS na napakasama. So, kailangan, tapos sinusuportahan daw ng presidente ng Syria, gusto nila magpa-invade dyan sa Syria. So, lumalawak at lumalawak since then, ang since 2001, Ang daming troops na pinapadala ng Amerikano uh, dyan sa Middle East. Parating may gulo dyan. Uh, until now. And only this president po, we go forward to this time, itong presidente, uh, si President Trump, ang nag-withdraw ng mga troops. Sabi niya hindi na kailangan niya. Wala na tayong kalaban dyan. Wala na tayong dapat dinamit. Pauwiin na natin yung mga talo na. Just now, just yesterday, I think he announced another 2,000 uh, troop withdrawal from Iraq. Ibig sabihin, nandun sila since 2001. 
Hindi sila umaalis doon. Sa Afghanistan, umaalis na siya. So it's in line with his promises, his campaign promises. Also, he said, he has said this, yung interview ni Trump na mahaba so hindi namin na-edit. Pero sinabi rin niya, alam mo yung mga, mga taga-Pentagon, yung mga troops, yung mga, yung mga soldiers, mahal ako eh. Pero yung mga general yata, hindi ako mahal. Sabi ni Trump. Kasi gusto nila puro gera. Eh ako ayoko ng gera. Kasama daw si, yung mga general yes. daw, kasama sa military industrial complex. Yes. Yeah, Yan po ang yeah. bintang ng mga ibang presidente ng nakaraan. Sila Eisenhower, sila Kennedy. President Kennedy. Ang sinasabi na meron na daw kapag kakuntsaba yung mga, mga malalaking uh, oligarko o nego, nego, negosyo. negosyo. Saka yung mga general na kinakailangan meron silang patuloy na gera. Mm. Uh, para tuloy-tuloy ang uh, negosyo, paggawa ng mga aeroplano, ng armas, ganyan-ganyan. At sa atin, nararamdaman na po natin yan. We used to say, uh, kina- ang kailangan ng Amerikano, gera, dahil mahusay sa negosyo. Ito eh, it was quite correct and accurate because that's be- that, be- that was the military industrial complex. And what Trump is trying to do now is trying to stop it. No. That's why uh, his life is really in danger. Oh, okay. Pero, pero, so, eto po, nung nagbigay siya ng sabi din, yung sundalo, mahal ako, sabi niya. Mm-hmm. Pero yung mga general, parang ayaw nila ako dahil na-apekto yung malaking negosyo. No? Yes. Um, hindi lang ano, kasi i- i- imagine po, yung negosyo ng armas, ano yan, uh, uh, bala. Lahat. Baril, aeroplano, uh, equipment, aeroplano, vapor, vapor lahat, tanke, lahat. Sino, sino nagsusupply ng, uh, ng fuel sa pamilitari? Sino mm-hmm. nagkaganya? Sasabihin nila, ito yung budget, pupunta kami ng Iraq, pupunta kami ng Afghanistan. Ito po budget, Congress, approve nyo, bilyon-bilyones. Titigilan ni Trump yan at tinitigilan niya. Kaya sabi po, uh, uh, araw-araw po at sinasabi ni Chairman, na delikado yung buhay ng presidente ito. Kasi gusto niyang gawin yung tama. Itigilan niya. So, the last time a president said, talked about the military-industrial complex, which has uh, expanded into what we now call the deep state, was President Kennedy in 1960. Na may speech po siya sa internet, hindi ko lang na, na-download, na about the CIA. Na sinabi niya, kailangan huwagin ko yung CIA na yan. Masama yan para sa Amerika. And we will shatter, this, this quote was, we will shatter the CIA into a thousand pieces. Mm-hmm. Ang CIA po, they were, it was built out of World War II kasi intelligence network yan. Helped by the British and the Allies to mm-hmm. help to fight Hitler. Pero hindi po nabuwag yan after World War II. Alam po natin yan kasi yung presidente natin si Magsaysay, di ba? Na may kasam may parating kasama siya Amerikano Lansdale Lansdale Edward yeah. Ed Colonel Lansdale something who said he was a CIA may famous picture pa nga eh uh-huh. di ba sa presidential table si Magsaysay tapos si Lansdale nakaupo din pero yung paa niya nakata nakapatong nakapatong sa desk ng presidente natin ng Pilipinas tapos nagtataba ko si Lansdale uh-huh. okay Nandiyan sa, sa bisita siya, mo, pero yung paa niya nandun. Lansdale. Baka mahanap ni Roxanne may picture. But Ngayon, uh, it shows... Itong CIA, yeah. ang original name nito nung World War II was OSS. Yeah. Overseas Secret Service. At uh, nung right after World War, the World War II, they changed the name to Central Intelligence Agency. Under... The State Department. Mm-hmm. Yung State Department, parang ano nila yan, Foreign, right. foreign Affairs Secretary. Yan ang State Department. So, sa ilalim yan. So, kung ano man ang gustong gawin ng Foreign Affairs Secretary, magpapalit siya ng mga gobyerno, mm-hmm. uh, gagawa niya ng paraan, uh, popondohan niya itong mga komunista para labanan yung... Um, gobyerno para matanggal, tapos mm. sila naman ang maglalagay ng kanilang mga tuta. Yes. No? 
yun ang trabaho ng CIA. Yes. So, network po yan ng mga tao. Depende. May mga businessman, may mga may mga politician, may mga gano'n. Ang, ang layunin yan is to know enough intelligence about any country, any person, so that anything they want, yung interest po ng CIA or yung US at that time, depending on ano kailangan gawin, um, yan, ang, yan ang itutulak nila. Okay? So it is, but it is a, what they call clandestine, or it is a, not a official uh, ambassador. Hindi. Uh-huh. Sa ilalim, pa ilalim po yung labanan dyan. So, parang yung sinasabi na. So, ito si Kennedy, by 1962, he was assassinated 63, November, mm-hmm. um, in Texas. But 1962, meron siyang speech, alam niya po tong CIA. And before Kennedy took office, si Eisenhower, winarningan na siya. Sabi niya, I want to warn you about the military-industrial complex. Because lumawak na yung parang intelligence network. Hindi, hindi na sa hindi nakikita ng tao, pero yun yung sa likod, yun yung pinakamalaking right. parang bureaucracy. Or, uh, um, okay. Ang plano ni Kennedy, itigil agad yeah. yung, ano, yung Vietnam War. Right. No? Eh, doon kumikita itong military industrial complex. Eh. Yeah. No? So kung itigil na yan, no, sabi nila, paano ang negosyo? No? So basically, ganyan po ang nag-isip. Nagkaroon siya ng kalaban, pinatay siya. Ang, ang presidente nga natin, di ba? Sinasabi niya. Actually, marami nang lumalabas na sine about the CIA and the drug running, di ba? And all of that. Pero yung presidente natin, si Duterte, sinabi na nga niya, oh, pag may pumatay sa akin, CIA ang pumatay sa akin. Ha? Uh-huh. Alam niya kasi kung ano yung nangyayari, sino-sino yung mga... And these guys control and they have so uh-huh. much funds. Uh-huh that a lot of there are many reports that they get from pushing drugs, pushing mm-hmm. illegal activities, doon sila kumukuha ng pondo para, para, uh, uh, tama, or, sabi ni Duterte, <laughs> if anything happens to me, my plane crashes or somebody uh-huh. kills me, blame the CIA. Alam niya. So it's not a uh, secret ganun anymore. So itong si, pero lumawak na to po into what they call now the deep state. It's not the, just the military-industrial complex. Lumawak na po siya, pumunta na sa civilian. Naging judges na po. Yung ka-hawak uh, nila, naging mga politiko na po. Naging mga ganyan. May mga politiko, na may mga nasa, nasa Wall Street. Mga oligarchy. Mga oligarchy, mm-hmm. mga nasa gobyerno, mga FBI, mga yes. CIA, tsaka iba-iba pa. Pati, pati yung mga general. Yes. Ah, tsaka hindi lang yan. Kasama na rin yung mga ibang mga opisyalis ng ibang bansa. Media no? also. Media, Media yung yeah, mga CNN, yung mga yan, kasama uh-huh. sila dyan. Tapos yung uh, sa, sa, sa UK, mm-hmm. kasama din nila yan. No? Yes. Uh, Baski ng mga iba sa ibang bansa, kasama nila yung mga may plano sila. Yes. Uh, ang pinaka-plano nila, one world government. Na... No? No? Ibubuwagin nila lahat ng gobyerno, pati na rin ang, uh, ang Estados Unidos. Which is what's happening. Uh, pati na rin yun, para maitayo nila ang isang one world government na sila lang mm. ang magpapatakbo ng buong mundo. Gagamitin ang uh, militar at gagamitin din lang yung mga ibang mga pamamaraan para makontrol nila ang mga populasyon. Media, media number one. Media ang pinaka ano nilang tool mm. to be able to uh, disseminate what they want to the to the people. This is this is real, mm. no? and this is happening right before our very eyes. And you cannot imagine how uh, how uh, organized they are and how widespread mm. they are already. So it ito yung kalaban po ni President Trump. Actually, ito kalaban ng lahat ng patriots, ng lahat ng people sa mundo. Ito po yung klaseng mga taon to. At yung mga taon to, walang pakialam sa kung ano yung tama o mali. Ang pakialam lang nila, yung control sa lahat. So, kasama din yung health, kasama din yung media, kasama din. So, um, in, the eve of, in the following 9-11 po, ngayon lang po, nagpapalit yung policy sa US. 
sa headline Trump. Kaya napapansin nyo, lahat ng CIA network na media, <laughs> CNN, all of that, even here in Facebook, okay? Nagalit sila kay Trump. Rappler. Rappler. Fact checker daw. Huh? Oh. Lahat ng National Endowment for Democracy, yun yung may-ari ng Rappler. Huh? Oh. They're number one with the deep state. And they are number one with George Soros. Si George Soros po, ang sinasabing siya ang namuno during Hillary Clinton's time. Siya yung deep state during Hillary Clinton's time. Si Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State during Obama presidency. During that time, si George Soros po ang siya yung nagmamando. Yeah, mga, yan si George Soros. Alam niyo po yung International Court of Justice. Yeah. Siya ang nag-organize niyan. Yeah. Siya ang pumupondo niyan sa Hague. <laughs> Iba pa yun sa Hague. Eh. Sa ano yata yung Switzerland. International uh-huh. Court of Justice. Tapos ito yung mga linadala nila dito kay, uh, <laughs> kay Duterte. Dumadaan dito sa uh, ano natin na uh, um, um, uh, human rights. Uh, eh, okay, Commission on Human Rights. Kay, kay Gascon. Gascon mm-hmm. no? Tapos binibintang itong mga EKJ, yes, masamang yes, tao, yes. killer, human rights. Eh. Tapos pinapa-investiga, tapos daw hahatulan siya ng mga International Court of Justice. Mm. <laughs> And pa, puro ano to, puro media. No? Mm. Saka sa totoo lang, walang, ang pondo nito kay George Soros. Ka. Pati na yung mga arbitration courts, katulad yes. nyo dun sa yes. dinaanan natin sa Hague. Yes, no? yes. Ang pondo niyan at ang nag-organize niyan, sabi nila, ang Pilipinas, hindi po. <laughs> ang nag-organize niyan, si George Soros. Oh, no? Using lahat na gagamit eh, tapos pasok naman yung Pilipino mm. para ma- ma- magamit laban sa China. No? Kasi ganyan po yung ano niyan, ganyan po yung uh, operations nito, yes. itong mga tao. That is, uh, George Soros is known, siyempre, kilalang-kilala na natin yan, but we must dig deeper pa, kasi marami pa siyang ginagawa, lalo na ngayon, against Trump. George Soros is known as the architect of mga tinatawag na color revolutions. Ito yung mga regime change. Um, and remember po, si George Soros po, uh, was involved with uh, Malok Brown. Yeah. Malok Brown, Lord Mal. Malok Brown, no. who started or put up D- dito sa atin yung Smartmatic. Smartmatic. Saka yung color revolution natin la- laban kay, uh, Marcos. kay Marcos, no. Ang um, isa sa mga nagmamanyobra dito, ito si Lord Malok Brown, na naging uh, ngayon presidente ng Smartmatic. <laughs> At ang uh, chairman, o yung talagang may ari, ay si George Soros. Yeah. No? Marami pong uh, network na konektado dyan. Yeah. Kaya na, hindi po basta-basta sasabihin natin, <laughs> tanggalin nyo yung Smartmatic, uh, malinis na yung ating election. Hindi po ganyan kasi yung mga malalim po ang kanilang mga tentacles. Eh, na, uh, You, you have to really uproot mm. all of these things. Sabi nga ni Trump, drain the swamp. Drain the swamp. Remember na... na ano ba ang drain the swamp? <laughs> Sabi mo explain mo nga. Ang drain the swamp, alam mo yung swamp. What is swamp in Tagalog? Uh, Roxy, alam mo yung swamp in Tagalog. Eh, okay. Basta parang Roxy. ano, may uh, tubig na... Uh, tapos uh, dahil meron mga gusto kang huliin, mm-hmm. no? Pero malapod yung tubig, di mo oh, makita. Oo, oh, malapod, di mo makita. Oh. Tanggalin mo yung tubig. Yeah. Drain the swamp. Para makita mo kung sino siya. Lalabas itong mga tiwali. Oh. No? Kaya na yun sabi niya, drain the swamp. Yan uh, uh, ano ni Trump, eh, will drain the swamp. Tsaka marami pa pong, uh, marami pa po tayong syempre, we continue discussing this, but lalo na palapit na yung US election. So, but, um, in the wake of 9-11, tinatawag na false flag, we can even go back. There are many instances po of what they call a false flag operation. Because if, uh, ang, ang may kita mo yung intention, ano ba talaga, false flag ba yan o hindi, o, o, o uh, conspiracy may, may kita sa epekto. E yung epekto nga, yung Middle East occupation ng US and Western forces. From 2001 to just recent. 
Okay? So lahat sila nag invade nag-ganyan, uh, doon sila. Okay? So, yun ang epekto ng di, wala pong maniniwala na si Osama Bin Laden ay yun yung pinakamahirap hanapin na tao sa mundo na hindi kaya hanapin ng buong mundo. Na siya nag-mastermind ng ilang eroplano, <laughs> ilang ano, mm -hmm. hindi imposible po yun. Pero siya yung binigtang. Saan siya nakatira Afghanistan? Doon sila pumunta. And if you know the history, kaya yeah, importante po history, yung 70s po, yung Afghan war, yung si Osama Bin Laden mismo, tao ng CIA doon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maligyan ko hanggang ngayon. Yeah. Ah, kasi uh, mayroon po ng mga nagsasabi, hindi talagang namaday si Osama Bin Laden. Dahil nung pinatay daw siya, bigla-bigla na lang tinapon sa dagat oh. yung katawan. Mm -hmm. Wala nang nakakita kung anong talaga ng uh, uh, sitwasyon na merong mayroon letrato na malabo yes. yung uh, pagkapatay na siya pero wala talaga naka-investiga dahil tinapon na daw nila sa dagat. <laughs> Tapos lahat ng uh, labing walong uh, tao hmm. na nag-operate para patayin siya, sila mismo patay na rin ngayon. Hmm. No? Uh, kanya nagtataka yung mga tao, bakit ganyan? Napaka, mm. uh, ang chances of that happening is in terms of uh, probability is so weird. No? Kaya, all of these things are questions that we have to ask. Yes. Pero ngayon, may development na. There are local courts in Texas and in New York that have uh, uh, issued a subpoena or subpoena, do you say issue yeah. that, that the Saudi they 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 are uh, asking Saudi Arabian government to produce certain individuals and all of their records because of the 9/11. Right. So mayon they were ayun yung band fighter Roxanne you know yung ba sila nde meron pang isa Hanapin niyo po. Yan si Magsaysay yata. And then si Lance din. Nakaputi siya. Naka, na, na, may cigar siya. Di ba? Iba yung ano. But anyway, I'm sure some of our, our viewers can find that. But ngayon, may mga ano, may mga kaso kasi. Pati po yung mga firefighters kasi doon. Noong nangyari po, tumama yung aeroplano or tumama sa taas. Yung mga firefighters siya ka police nagmobilize na. Habang umaakit daw sila, may naririnig silang sumasabog sa baba, hindi sa taas. Yan po ang mga witness, eyewitness accounts na hindi, hindi binibigyan ng pansin. Pero yung, yung original accounts, so naalala ko pa po because, because I was in the news, so minomonitor ko po lahat yan at that time. Sinasabi nila, may narinig akong sumabog dyan, may narinig akong sumabog dyan which is not case only if you're dem uh, demolishing a building. Yeah, the, pag, ang pag-demolish daw uh -huh. ng building, mas kita nung nyo, but as nyo nakikita yan sa TV, <laughs> hindi ba po? Pag luma na yung building, mm -hmm. kailangan nila na sirain mabilis para makapagpatayo sila ng another building. Mm -hmm. And back now, you know, pinupukok nila ganyan, linalagyan nila mga dinamita. Yeah sa mga iba-ibang mga lugar ng building. Tapos, by computer o ano, paputokin nila yun sabay-sabay. Tapos yung musmong building, buong-buo. May kita nyo bumabagsak na ganyan. At yung mga, yung mga tabing ano, tabing mga building, hindi po nasisira. Kasi ang pagbagsak po nito ay diretso, pababa. No? Hindi magulo. Yung pong, eh, yung pong technology na yun, yun daw ang ginawa dito sa World Trade, dito sa World Trade Center. Kanya po, dire-direcho ang pagbalsa. At hindi gumanito, hmm. hindi gumayan yung building, dire-direcho ang dalawang building. Marami pa pong mga ano, marami, hmm. siyempre, alam natin yung ilang taon na yun, 9, 2001, that's 20 years ago. Hmm. Um, so, so, marami pa pong mga documentary na lumalabas, mapapa-question ka. And yung mga Amerikano po, um, for 20 years, they've been questioning this. Yung mga media lang po at yung tinatawag natin na deep state. Remember, George Bush, tapos naging si, si um, uh, uh, Clinton, right? Mm -hmm. And then Obama. Ah, 
Ob uh, Clinton, Clinton or George, George Bush, Bush Obama. Each of them po eight years in yeah. office. Yeah. So that's 24 years po. And ngayon lang po si Trump, who is not a Republican and not a Democrat, is trying to undo that. Alam niyo po, may mga haka-haka, may mga, may mga lumalabas na reports from uh, yung QAnon po uh, na meron na silang ini-indict na tao from 9-11, participation 9-11. Lalabas siguro at lalabas yan soon enough. Pero ang sinasabi nila, reason po yan kasi it, nag, umatay ka na sarili mo. So that's <coughs> Yan po ang kalaban ni Trump. Yan, that's the 9-11. Huwag, huwag nyo pong ilagay sa isip ninyo ng mga campaigners kami ni Trump. <laughs> hindi po ganyan. You know? Wala po kami, hindi namin kakilala yan, hindi po namin, ano, pero nakikita po namin yung impact hmm. sa buong mundo at dito sa ating bansa rin. No? Right. Ang kalaban po ni Trump ay itong mga globalists, itong mga deep state, itong mga gustong ibagsak lahat ng mga bansa. Ang, kan, ang ayaw na ayaw nila yung concept or idea of sovereignty. Mm. Ayaw nila yung mga independent nation. Kalaban nila yan. Gusto nila bagsak lahat. Mm. Tapos silang magtatayo ng isang global government. At gagamitin nila lahat. Gagamit sila ng kanilang uh, sariling uh, kayanan. It will have its own military. Probably the U.S. military will be used there mm. together with the others. Sila ang magiging uh, one world government and they will impose uh, whatever rules they want on the people of the world. That is their plan. Mm. And we are moving towards that. The only one right now that can stop that. No? Whether you like him or not, never <laughs> mind na lahat ng kanilang mga personal campaign. No? Kasi maraming nangangampa na yeah. kala mo kung ano, mag- yeah. may hina talaga ang pag-iisip dito sa ganito. <laughs> Whether or not you like him, we must understand that this is the, the fight. For first for the sovereign nation states mm-hmm. uh, fighting for their uh, independence uh, and these people who want one world government no independence of all nations globally say the only one that is now in the position of fighting them uh, is a guy named Donald Trump and he does not like what they are planning to do. And because he does not like it, he's not going to play that game. They are going against him. Mm. This is the simple uh, explanation of what is going on right now. Ayaw nila ang mga sovereign nations thing. Alala mo when Duterte yung pinaka ano na sabi nila uh, kinausap niya si Obama mm. di ba mm-hmm. tapos sa uh, minura daw niya or, or ano uh, uh, hindi natin alam kung ano talaga yung sinabi ni Obama because yung presidente si presidente Duterte wasn't clear the point is it seemed like uh, Obama was trying to to tell him what to do because remember po si Pinoy before that, Pinoy was was talagang kahit anong gusto gawin nila Obama at ni Hillary at yung US gagawin niya. As slicker si Pinoy. Oh, oh. So, sasabihin nila, oh, awayin mo yung China. Awayin niya. Mm-hmm. Gawin mong ganito, ganito. So wala siyang sariling ano. No, Duterte, President Duterte gets elected, gets a phone call from Obama, and he went against Obama. Minura niya. Minura niya. So we can only imagine, and the way Obama, President uh, that time, si Barack Obama works, and it's probably gusto niya, ituloy mo yung gagawin ni Pinoy, or else, uh, 
E i fratelli, alla mano non si presidente, hai un po' di detrazione. Sabi da un Neil Obama sa che ne ha. Ero come in 700 milioni di dollari che vi pigai se ne ho as USA. Come te che sono un esame, no? O a quella che è USA, ne ha. Dito, dite a minora. Sabi ne ha. We are a sovereign country. We 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 are no longer your colony. Yes, I mean, we are not your slaves. Yes, being a young man. If you don't give us anything, it's all right because there are other countries that are willing to help us. Kaya po tayo na pa punta sa China at kapas sa Russia. Yes. And kaya po kami, na pa, ano kay Presidente, na doon kami na nabilip kay President oh, Duterte. Okay. Then, ang tapang niyang sagutin na itong si Obama yes. eh. Yes. No? Ako eh, sabi ko, for whatever it's worth, uh, he defined this presidency. Yeah. No? Because uh, Obama was already angling for a war, right? Yes, yes. So, they were preparing for a war, uh, si Obama. Tandaan niyo po, nung na-elect si... Si, uh, si Duterte. Duterte Wala pang election sa Amerika Yes May, May 2016 May tayo Si, si, si Trump, uh, Trump November. November pa yung election nila So dito pa sa May Sinasabihan na ni ano, Kasi iniisip nila Sila yung mananalo Pagdating sa Nobyembre Si Hillary oh, Eh hindi nanalo <laughs> Ibang plano ng Diyos. O oh. ilagay natin itong, <laughs> itong taong to dyan. No? Oh. Na hindi politiko. Okay. Actually, hindi man siya talagang Republican kasi wala lang siyang partido kanya napapunta siya sa par Republican right. dahil kalaban sila Hillary. Right. No? Kanya wala siyang tao. Hanggang ngayon wala siyang tao dito sa Republican Party. Mm. Actually, parang si President Duterte. Parang Duterte nga. Oh. Uh, tapos, uh, uh, si, yung mga tao dyan, mga pinipili na. Yung mga iba, hindi na mapatanggal. Mm. Katulad ni si Pompeo, right. Republican Party yan, tsaka yung kanyang uh, National Security Advisor, uh -huh. Republican Party yan, mga anti-China, gustong bombahin ng China. Parang Senator Bongo ba? <coughs> eh, oh, oh, kung ganyan si Bongo, <laughs> pero... Para bang ganyan? Uh, uh, parang, ewan ko, no? hindi natin alam ang balakad ni Bongo. Pero, eh, yung mga yan, hindi na matanggal. Hmm. Bakit? Pag tinanggal niya ang Pompeo, baka yung buong Republican Party naman, uh, i-abandon siya pagdating ng eleksyon. Matatalo siya. No? So, parang nagsa-strategize muna siya how to do it. Uh -huh. uh, yung pinaka-effective na way to do it. So, but we see na sinasabi nga ni Chairman, is that we see the value of, of someone like Duterte when he came on office. Biglang bumaba yung danger ng war. Kasi sabi niya, hindi kami susunod, hindi namin naawain yung China basta-basta. Mm -hmm. Hindi ako si Pinoy. Mm -hmm. okay, hindi ako may ganyan. We're not, don't order us around. Tapos nanalo si Trump. Nag-uusap oh. sila. Bumisita pa nga si Trump dito for the forum. They talk. Mm -hmm. And until now, he's, he supports Trump. Even if he is, is supporting China and, and having good friends with China and Russia, hindi, niya, hindi siya galit sa US. So he has an independent foreign policy in that sense. So we still support the president. The problem is, like Caesar, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's surrounded by a lot of Our president is surrounded by a lot of ano. Tsaka sa atin po, tinan nyo yung mga iba, minsan meron po nagko-comment sa amin, kay si Trump, kay si Pinan. Ayoko nang patulan kasi masyadong mababaw yung kanilang ano, hanggang doon na lang sa politika eh. No? Di nila alam yung mga underlying uh, conditions where That, that's what's happening uh, not just to the US but to the rest of the world. Big picture. Mas kindi ito kay Duterte. Mas kindi ito kay Duterte. Nakikita niyo po, meron kami hinihingi na uh, uh, state of emergency, right. mga ganyan. Kasi meron po tayong nakikita na sa ilalim niya, yeah. 
na gumagalaw para para bumagsak siya eh. Mm. Sa kanya ibibintang itong pagbagsak eh. Yeah, no? At yung pagkulapso ng ating ekonomiya, sa kanya ibibintang, hindi naman dito sa mga mm. economic advisors eh. Right. Di ba? Right. So ang pinutulak po namin ito para ma- makuha niya mm. at maayos niya mm. so that we can make a recovery program. Yes. No? Na tunay na recovery. Pero sa amin po palagay, itong mga taong kat- ka- katabi niya, ay ibang isip. Mm. At sa nasabi ko na, try door sa bayan yung mga yan. Eh. No? Ngayon, uh, siguro, hindi ko alam, tinanong mo si Bongo, hindi ko naman alam about Bongo. <laughs> no? oh, Pero, kung alam, kung alam ni Bongo yan, no? itutulak niya dito sa sinasabi namin na Article 12. Mm. Pero kung hindi alam ni Bongo yan, no? gusto sabihin mahina siya, hindi siya magaling. No? Dapat nakikita niya yan para tama ang advice niya sa presidente. Mm. Mm. No? Any rate, huwag tayo masyadong mga pumunta dyan. No? <laughs> But oh, it's a good context na pareho-pareho yung pareho. laban natin. US, tayo, even China, even Russia. They want to be independent, sovereign nation. And ang ano na natin, going off from 9-11, yung September 11 attacks, that in effect put the new world order in power. Lumawak pa lalo yung deep state. Lumawak pa yung kanilang mga kagaguhan sa lahat ng bagay. Lumakas yung control nila sa mainstream media. Lumakas yung control nila sa ano. Ang, ang kalaban po ni Duterte, sinasabi niya CIA, is the same networks that Trump is fighting. Okay? So because Soros, if Soros' network includes the National Endowment for Democracy supporting our media organizations here, then it's the same network that is going against Duterte. Okay? So pareho po yung laban. Di ko alam kung na, di po natin alam kung nakikita po ni Duterte yan, that Trump is fighting thing. But there's a clue because Duterte also endorsed Trump. He said... You know, he thinks Trump should win the elections and, and no matter what. But we want to go back to, uh, I want to show you a speech from Richard Grinnell. He was the former National Security Advisor, I think, if I'm not mistaken, no? during the Republican National Convention. Itong speech po medyo, ano, because parang inano niya, ilabas niya ang mga miyembro ng Deep State at bakit sino yung mga kalaban ni Trump. At anong pinaglalaban ni Trump talaga? Ina-identify nga yung mga membro ng deep state. Yeah. At pag sinasabi po natin deep state, ito yung mga uh, parang hindi natin nakikita ang mga mukha. Mm. No? Pero umagalaw, umagalaw, umagalaw para ibagsak, ibagsak ang Amerika mm. no? para maitayo nila yung one world government. Ito yung deep state. So, sige, play natin, Ross. During the presidential primary debates four years ago, one outsider stood alone and said in public what most Americans thought in private. It was 14 years after the start of the war in Afghanistan and 12 years after the invasion of Iraq, where thousands of American troops had died and trillions in taxpayer dollars had been spent. And yet no candidate could bring themselves to admit that something had gone badly wrong with American foreign policy. That the American voter, the American soldier, and the American taxpayer had all been let down. Except for one, Donald Trump. He called America's endless wars what they were, a disaster. The media was shocked because Donald Trump was running as a Republican. And yet he said out loud what we all knew that American foreign policy was failing to make Americans safer. After the end of the Cold War, Democrats and Republicans in Washington bought into the illusion that the whole world would start to resemble America. And so they started to pursue unlimited globalization. They welcomed China into the World Trade Organization. They engaged in nation building in Afghanistan. 
and tried to export democracy to Iraq. They signed a nuclear deal with Iran and a global climate agreement in Paris. But they didn't ground any of it in the interests of the average American. So for decades, while Washington politicians built a global system, American wages stagnated. Our great cities and industries were hollowed out. Entire communities were devastated. And our manufacturing plants were shipped off to China. That's what happened when Washington stopped being the capital of the United States and started being the capital of the world. As U.S. Ambassador to Germany, I had a front row seat to Donald Trump's America First foreign policy. I wish every American could see how President Trump negotiates on their behalf. I've watched President Trump charm the Chancellor of Germany while insisting that Germany pay its NATO obligations. I was proud to witness President Trump say to foreign leaders, I don't blame you for wanting America to pay for your security. I actually respect you for out negotiating the presidents before me. But it stops with me. I won't let the American taxpayer be taken advantage of. Donald Trump's administration has always made clear that our priority is the American people's security. That's the job of all leaders to put their people first. And we've seen how this strategy has succeeded. In four short years, Donald Trump has led even some Washington Democrats to agree on the Chinese threat, on trade deals that benefit America first, on alliances that share responsibility. In four years, Donald Trump didn't start any new wars. He brought troops home. He rebuilt the military and signed peace deals that make Americans safer. The Washington elites want you to think this kind of foreign policy is immoral. And so they call it nationalist. That tells you all you need to know. The DC crowd thinks when they call Donald Trump a nationalist, they're insulting him. As if the American president isn't supposed to base foreign policy on America's national interests. A return to the Biden way of thinking means America gives the radical terrorist regime in Tehran a plain load of cash in the middle of the night. Well, you see, President Trump also sent an aircraft in the middle of the night to deal with Iran. But that plane was on a different mission, an airstrike to take out the head of Iran's terror machine who plotted the deaths of Americans. But we also must be clear that when those who seek freedom take tremendous personal risk in places like Hong Kong, Tehran, or Minsk, there is no doubt who President Trump's administration supports. We will always stand with the people who fight for their God-given freedoms. Don't be fooled. The Washington establishment is trying to sell you on their candidate. Joe Biden was first elected to the Senate in 1972, 48 years ago. Well, it's actually the typical Washington story. Just this year, 22 Democrats ran for president. They rejected all of the outsiders and nominated the ultimate Washington insider, someone they had to pull out of retirement. Every time Joe Biden offers a new idea, you should ask yourself, why didn't he try that over the last 48 years? Today, the Democrats blame a global pandemic that started in China on President Trump. And they still blame Russia for Hillary Clinton's loss in 2016. As acting director of national intelligence, I saw the Democrats' entire case for Russian collusion. And what I saw made me sick to my stomach. The Obama-Biden administration secretly launched a surveillance operation on the Trump campaign and silenced the many brave intelligence officials who spoke up against it. They presented bogus information as facts. They lied to judges. Then they classified anything that undermined their case. And after Donald Trump won the election, when they should have continued the American tradition of helping the president-elect transition into the White House, 
They tried instead to undercut him even more. Former Vice President Joe Biden asked intelligence officials to uncover the hidden information on President Trump's incoming national security advisor three weeks before the inauguration. That's the Democrats. Between surveillance, classifications, leaks, and puppet candidates, they never want the American people to know who's actually calling the shots. But with Donald Trump, you always know exactly who is in charge. Because the answer is you. You're in charge. Not lobbyists, not special interests, not warmongers or China sympathizers or globalization fanatics. With Donald Trump and Mike Pence in the White House, the boss is the American people. President Trump rightly calls his foreign policy America first. America first does not advance the interests of one group of Americans at the expense of another. It has no bias about red or blue, educated or not educated, urban or rural. America first is simply the belief that politicians should focus on the equality and dignity of every American. And that this duty is fulfilled by promoting the safety and wealth of the American people above all else. That's America first. That's the Trump doctrine. And that, my friends, is four more years. All right, Dr. Richard Grinnell, former uh, National Security, uh, National Intelligence, Director of National Intelligence. So, makita niyo po, tinasabi ko kay Chairman na nag-ano siya, uh, sinabi niya na he actually made an accusation against President Obama, Joe Biden, about what they did. Ito po ay uh, medyo, medyo mabigat na accusation. Uh, na, uh, they spied on Trump's campaign and they used, uh, they used a lot of their corrupt tactics just so that Trump will not get elected. Mm. Uh, lies and uh, mabigat na accusation po yan and he said it in public. Pero hanggang ngayon po, alam po nila kasi na may investigation na ongoing ngayon with Obama, uh, and, Kay Obama, Hillary, and the rest of them. Uh, hindi lang po pang election to, pero yun, yun yung parte na sinasabi ng drain the swamp. So, marami pa siyang ibang sinasabi about China, about like that. Pero ang importante po dyan, I would, I would focus on what he is doing, um, what, what the intention is uh, when Trump comes to the presidency. Again, gusto ko lang i-emphasize, uh, hindi kami Trump to, uh, uh, Campaigners. campaigners, but because of... Ang, ang assumption naman natin, kayo po, hindi naman kayo bumoboto kay Trump, right? Kay Pilipino kayo. Right. I mean, right. Pero we have to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. no? Ang importante po yan na maintindihan natin. At uh, ma malaman natin kung anong position siguro ng ating bansa tungkol sa mga nangyayari ngayon. No? Yeah. Eh, gusto ko lang i-bigyan ng uh, konting pansin. Itong uh, ilang beses sinabi nitong si Green uh, na, na ang policy ni Trump ay America first. Wala pong masama dun eh. <laughs> Tayo po nung panahon ni Carlos P. Garcia, ang policy po natin, Filipino first. Filipino first policy. Ang ibig po sabihin ni, ni Trump, mm. ang mga ibang bayan, kinakailangan manguna yung kanilang bayan. Siyempre kasi kung, uh, kung uh, Pilipino ka, kailangan manguna ang Pilipino. Ang interes ng Pilipino bago pa iba. Ganyan din po si Trump. Mm. Kinakailangan protektado yung Amerika. No? Hindi yung... Uh, nangyari nun, noon. Kanya, ang, uh, ang uh, nangyari noon, parang America was trying to get the whole world <laughs> na, to, to follow Washington, mm. D.C. Mm. At uh, kanya, inaano niya yung 
yung ekonomiya ng mga ibang bansa na nakatali dito sa Amerika. Kasama na tayo doon. O, kasama na tayo doon. Hmm. Tapos, uh, lahat ng kakilanganin natin, silang pinupuntahan natin. Yun ang gusto nila din, papunta na yan nga dito sa globalization. Okay. But it destroyed America. But it destroyed, it was in a way destroying America. Up to now, yes. their intention is to destroy America. Yeah. And in effect, destroy the rest of the world economy. Tinan nyo po ngayon sa COVID, hindi <coughs> ba bumabagsak lahat ng ekonomiya? No? Mm -hmm. Dahil dyan sa COVID na yan. Ang intention po, hindi talaga yung COVID. Ang intention na yung pagbagsak ng ekonomi. Pumundo. So, and in the other things, again, remind ko lang po kayo, if you want to look at his past uh, announcements and speeches, again, kailangan ni emphasize. And that's why we support him, even if we're not campaigning for him. Support. Because, remember po, sinabi niya, sa harap ng G7 nations, I think it was the World Economic Forum or something, sabi niya, uh, the future is not globalization. The future is sovereign nations. The future belongs to patriots. And, right. and sinabi niya yon, in-emphasize niya yon. So, syempre, as a Filipino, Filipino who loves his country, gusto mo yung sinasabi ng U.S. President na to. At ayaw ng mga globalization. Sino ngayon ang mga kalaban niya? And he was saying, and he also said, America, I want a strong America, but I also want a strong uh, Russia, a strong China, a strong other countries should make their countries great again. Mm -hmm. Yan ang Trump. Sabi niya, wala naman kami pakialam eh. I will take care of America. You take care of your country. You take care of your country. And then sinasabi nga niya, wala siyang regime change policy. Huh? Wala siya. Pero mo, ang laking pangako niya yan, ha? Hmm. Well, during his presidency, wala siyang tatanggalin na leader para ilagay yung kanyang gustong leader. Right. Well, ginagawa ng mga CIA noon pa. Gina no, ginawa ni Bush, Clinton, Obama. Ginawa ni Bush, Clinton, Obama. <laughs> At uh, tandaan nyo, yung pisaan nila din yan, yung panahon ni Marcos, ginawa nila yan. Right. The Shah of Iran, ginawa yes. nila. Yes. CIA. Yes. CIA ang kumakamada. Yes. No? Naging na normal na sa atin, hindi tayo na, ano eh, <laughs> hindi tayo na iskandalo. Oh, no? yeah. at, at dito, ganyan din ang uh, gagamitin, at, at pati ang presidente natin, mm -hmm. kanya sabi ni Presidente Duterte, pag namatay ako at may pumatay sa akin, mm -hmm. uh, blame the CIA. Alam niya, no? na pwedeng doon ang doon manggaling. Pero remember, uh, Chairman, remember, ano yung, yung, kal, yung first weapon ng deep state? The first weapon that they will use for regime change is media. Media. No? Diba? Mainstream media. Mainstream media. And here in the Philippines, no. the biggest mainstream media, sabihin na natin, ABS-CBN, which nobody will question na anti-Duterte yung mga report nila. Bago pa, during the election, so, ano sila, 100% marrohas sila. Di ba? Right. So, yan ang ga. So, when Duterte sat, wala na tayong nakitang news from the biggest network in uh, the Philippines mm -hmm. except uh, killings, drug killings. Sino pa yung sunod niyan? Rappler. Inquirer. All the mainstream media have, have not put uh, Duterte in, in a favorable light. Not to say that they should, kung mali talaga, mali. But, inaatake po nila. Ganyan na rin si Trump. Which is what's CNN. Happening. Mm -hmm. Pat, pati na rin ang Fox News. Yes. So Fox News, kung titignan nyo kung mabuti, meron mga isa o dalawa silang uh, uh, solid na kay Trump. Right. Pero yung karamihan, pag mayroong editorial sila, mm -hmm. o mayroon na, nung may kita mo, nakatutok pa rin sila sa anti-China at anti-Russia. Yes. Kasi, ang, ang gusto nga natin sa LaRouche is that Trump cooperates with Xi Jinping yes. and, and, and Putin 
and well, Modi the, of, of India. India. Yeah, actually, maganda relationship ni Trump with India because mm-hmm. of the medicines. Yeah. And uh, kung, kung punta kayo sa, sa internet, sa YouTube, tignan nyo po yung visit ni Trump sa India, grabe. Grabe yung reception ng uh, Indians kay Trump. Gusto nila si, ano? Gusto, gusto nila. So, we we need to have those four powers, sabi nga ni Lyndon LaRouche. Those fa- four powers. Getting together. Getting together <laughs> and putting in a new uh, just world, world economic, economic system. Order. Yes, yeah. order. So that more pe- more countries can grow under this. Um, hindi pwedeng isa lang, hindi pwedeng dalawa. Kailangan cooperate nila. Ang ayaw niyan, an historical enemy, I think, of all nations, has been the 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 uh, based in Britain now, but yung tinatawag na natin na globalists. These are the cabal na sinasabi natin. These are the heads of the deep state. These are the royal families of Europe na kasama dyan, yung mga oligarchy. Ayaw nila. So, gagawa sila ng intriga para mag-aaway itong Yan ang ayaw namin. Yan po ang sinasabi natin. Wala tayong, wala tayong, yan. Wala tayong magagawa dyan kung nagkagera na. Yan po ang gusto natin. Kaya nga sa LaRouche, kailangan may four power solution. Sabi nga ni LaRouche, kailangan apat yan na magkasama. Those are the biggest economy. Kasi uh, these four countries comprise more than one half of the world population. And all of these four countries are actually nuclear power. Pag nagsama po yung apat na yan, magkakay, may kaibigan at magkahanap sila ng collaboration, yes. wala pong world war. Kasi yung Russia, yung Russia, China, magkasama sa Amerika. Pag pinaghiwalay mo po yan, malaki po ang chance na magkaroon ng kera. Kaya kailangan pag nagsama yan, you're actually talking about development of the whole world. Yes. Yes. Uh, on the basis of uh, collaboration of sovereign nation states looking for a system that will improve the life of all population. Mm-hmm. Yan po ang prinsipyo na uh, itinutula. And as in the Philippines, Duterte should support this type of... Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and he should say, Sama ako dyan. Pag tama kami dyan as Filipinos because you're not, <coughs> you're not um, impinging on our sovereignty. You're helping us help ourselves. Uh, so, so parang ganun yung dapat yung policy natin for the policy. Kung natin. makausap po natin sana, oh. kung makausap nyo si President <laughs> Duterte, <laughs> ituro nyo ito yes. para meron tayong masasabing magandang uh, uh, foreign policy. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, ituro nyo ito ng foreign nation uh, or uh, foreign nation coalition uh, mm-hmm. that will start a uh, a uh, uh, no, a, a, a cooperation, yes. collaboration yes. of all sovereign nation states yes. no? for the improvement mm-hmm. of the quality of life of all populations and posterity. Yep. Pus- that's, <laughs> that's the best foreign <laughs> policy we can, uh, we can uh, no, hope, we for, can, yes. hope for. Yes. And it's going to come from uh, Duterte. No? Yes. Palagay ko, pag napaliwanag natin sa kanya to, oh, yeah. sasabihin niya, okay, inalang eh, may ibang mabubulong sa kanya. Yeah, no? imagine na si Duterte, friends with Russia, friends oh, with China, and we, historically, we are with the U.S. Hmm. And Trump and him have a good relationship as far as we can see. He can be a catalyst for that. Yeah. Uh, for these things. But anyway, going back to mainstream media and yung mga news, uh, I wanted to play a clip sana from uh, the, our, our, our usual uh, uh, online channel which is the, uh, which we like to play see uh, ano, um, One America News Network about what mainstream media did not tell you this week. Uh, so we get the real news from uh, One American News Network po. Ito bago pa lang ng news organization po starting up. But apparently it's being supported also by certain uh, certain uh, patriots in America. Mga independent po sa America itong kanilang yeah. pinabati. Kasi alam nila mga CNN at mga, yan, mga basura kasi yung yes. inalabas. No? So itong... Uh, at least ito, 
talaga news. Ito yung talaga nangyayari. So, are we ready? Okay, go. What the mainstream media was afraid to tell you about the news this week? This week. While the mainstream media was obsessing about the Bob Woodward controversy, here are the things that happened that really matter. The editor-in-chief of The Atlantic, Jeffrey Goldberg, admits that the central claim of his hit piece could be wrong. After publishing an article claiming President Trump canceled his trip to the French American Cemetery in France in 2018 because Trump didn't want to honor military veterans and citing four anonymous sources, 20 on-the-record sources have refuted Goldberg's claims, including John Bolton and others who were actually there at the time. In addition, an official White House memo shows the reason why the trip was canceled at the last minute was due to inclement weather. But did the mainstream media report that Jeffrey Goldberg admitted the central claim of his hit piece was false? Nope, they barely mentioned it. In the wake of Nancy Pelosi getting her hair done indoors at a salon in San Francisco, even though you aren't allowed to do the same thing, a new report reveals it's not just Pelosi who's playing by a different set of rules. Government gyms in San Francisco have been open for months, despite private gyms being forced to close. But did the mainstream media report on this double standard? No, no, the mainstream media was silent. A new study claims the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in South Dakota was a COVID-19 super spreader event. But that study has been roundly debunked. In fact, no medical journal would publish the study. Instead, it was posted online on the Institute of Labor Economics website. Why? Because the study was based on a model, not reality. It based its conclusion on one day of Uber testing and then didn't adjust for the testing levels. The study also ignored the fact that South Dakota has seen zero changes in deaths from COVID since Sturgis and that the number of new COVID cases nationwide is actually down since Sturgis. Finally, the chart used in the study was statistical manipulation because not only did they use one day of Uber testing, they ended the study right when the data stopped showing what they wanted it to show. But did the mainstream media report that? No, no, the mainstream media ate it up. Disney thanks half a dozen Chinese Communist Party entities, including a propaganda department and a police department in Xinjiang, China, where the movie was filmed, which is also the same location where the Chinese Communist Party is putting millions of Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. Not only did Disney film in that location while the extermination of Uyghurs was taking place nearby, they actually thanked the same Chinese Communist Party government entities who are carrying out this brutal persecution and oppression. But did the mainstream media report on this? Not really. Netflix released a new movie called Cuties. The movie is about 11-year-old girls who are part of a twerking dance troupe. The movie's beyond disturbing. In fact, it's child pornography. It portrays 11-year-old children doing explicitly sexual dances, posing in sex positions, touching themselves sexually on a stage. The movie actually reveals the naked breast of one of the 11-year-old girls and features crotch shots of the girls while dancing. But did the mainstream media report on this horrible sexual exploitation of children? No, no. In fact, multiple left-wing outlets actually defended the disgusting movie. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. As always, it's an honor and a privilege to sit here and talk to you every night about the things that matter. So thank you. And that's all I have for you tonight. All right, so that was uh, one American news network. So Liz Wheeler Paul gives a summary of what's going on uh, America, going on sometimes the world. Lalo na yung sinasabi niya about COVID. There was something anomaly sa naman sa testing. Uh, kasi pag nakikita niyo po ngayon sa US, ang dami ng malabas na walang mask, walang, walang gano'n. Kasi kinapestyo ko nila lahat numbers. This is on the heels of you six percent. Nagon nila website uh, to reflect the numbers. Na six percent lang po out of the hundred fifty reported deaths, hundred fifty thousand reported deaths. Na is due to COVID alone. Mm -hmm. 
yung iba po may mga underlying conditions. So from that, ang dami ng lumalabas na studies independent. Tapos yung mainstream media, hindi nila nire-report yun uh, intentionally. Minsan nga sa Facebook, pag nag-post po tayo, uh, hindi nila pinapalabas. Sabi nila maling information daw. Pero yung mga ibang kagaguhan dyan sa Facebook, okay lang, okay lang ilabas sa Facebook. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. We should all be warned. Uh, that in the coming days, no, Facebook will be um, cutting off uh, some accounts or uh, suspending some accounts because uh, uh, they are uh, they don't want certain information to come out. Ayaw nila. Uh, whether uh, basta meron silang isang uh, direction na gagawin. Tapos ang nasabi uh, nila na hindi daw uh, fully supported of uh, data data mm-hmm. itong uh, sasabihin itong mga isang tao <laughs> alam niyo po Facebook is supposed to be a, a uh, uh, platform for platform for all ideas. kinds of ideas whether it's uh, whether it's uh, true or not mm-hmm. yan, ganyan po ang nangyari noon no? yes. pero ngayon meron na po silang tinatawag na fact checking mm-hmm. no? Na, pero yung mga fact checkers nila katulad dito sa atin ang binigyan nilang na, uh, partner nila dito partner nila dito yung binigyan nilang authority <laughs> para maging fact check, checkers para mag-suspend ng mga ano, uh, na account ninyo yes. ay Rappler ang <laughs> Rappler po may kasong libel mm. na fake news ang oh. linalabas itong si Rappler hindi lang kaso ano uh, judgment. She's, there's yeah, libel. They're, they're already oh, libel. Oh, convicted. Oh, no? convicted. Of, of libel. Naka ano lang siya. Naka, naka bail. Naka out on bail. Mm. No? Si Maria Reza. Pero no, siya, yung fact checker, <laughs> siya yung magsasabi kung nagsisinungaling ka o hindi. Oh. Pero siya mismo? Siya mismo may kaso. Convicted. No? Yeah. Ano ba naman yan? Hindi lang yan. Tax cases nila, ganyan-ganyan. Pero, imagine. Yes. This is, it's absurd. Di ba po? Yeah. Pero, ginagawa nila yan. Oh. So, you have to be, you know, Vigilant. you have to be forewarned. Mm-hmm. No? Not for you to be afraid. Mm-hmm. No? But mm-hmm. to understand that, that these are people that are going to do whatever yeah. is necessary, you know, for uh, these lies to be promoted. Mm-hmm. No? And they have to dumb down the population. They have to keep them stupid. Mm. Because if the people are not stupid, they cannot be controlled. Mm. Right. If they are dumb, no, they can be controlled mm. because they will follow what is being said. Mm. No? Pero pag alam nyo na po ang katotohanan, mas iba pa nung magbalik-balik rin nila, hindi po lulusot yes. sa inyo. And this is uh, the situation. Sa akin, demonic. Mm. Demonic na itong laban na ito. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, and uh, this is a fight between good and evil. Uh, and those that want to fight for the good will, will be the patriots. Mm. No? Dahil nakikita nila kung ano talaga ang nangyari. No, speaking of demonic, nakita mo yung isang news about the... Oh, oh, that movie about these young girls. Anong pangalan nung? Cuties. Meron daw pinapalabas meron dito. Meron daw lalabas na sine dyan sa Netflix. Netflix, ang pangalan, cuties. Ang mga bata daw, labing isang taon. Pinapasayaw nila ng malalaswa. Tsaka gagamitin nila sa uh, pornography. No? Nasa sine, cuties. Cute, cute daw, cute. No? Sino mo ilalabas ito at uh, mas kina ba paano pipigilin sila ng uh, gobyerno dahil malaswa talaga, pornography. Uh, uh, may mga dumidepensa galing dito sa mga Democrats mm. at mga liberals. No? Mm. Ang sinasabi, hindi, okay lang yan. This is freedom of speech and all of that sort of thing. No? But you'll see yeah. uh, what's going on. Just no? like the law they passed in California. Uh-huh. Diba? Yung, yung bagong law that allows uh, relationship with... Ah, uh, oh, oh. Diba? So that's all coming. That's all being pushed. 
Sa California, meron ng batas mm. na ilinabas sila na pwede na daw ang pedopelia. Basta, uh, sumasang-ayon daw yung minor de edad. No? If the minor uh, consents no? uh, to uh, the pervert mm. actions, mm. No? Um, you cannot charge the adult mm. no? uh, for pedophilia oh. because the minor is consenting. Right? Yan daw, batas na daw yan. Para saan yan mga ganyang klaseng batas? Di ba para sa, sa mga sirang ulo? Ha? Para dito sa mga pedophiles? No? The, the, it's, it's going on now. And that is what Trump is trying to stop. Yes. No? That is what also yung mga deep state ang pinupush. That's mga what, deep state, tinutulak po yan. With the Democrats. Kaya po, uh, tingnan nyo ngayon sa sa Hollywood, mm-hmm. no? Mm-hmm. Ang dami pa lang mga artista diyan na na ginaga, nagpapagamit dito sa mga organisasyon na ito, no? Para nga masira ang pag-iisip ng mga tao at mga kabataan, no? Yeah. We have to fight it, no? Yeah. We have to fight it because we know what is right and what is wrong, no? Huwag na tayo magano, huwag nyo il- il- Huwag yung mababaw na politika. No? Mm. Yung mababaw na politika, sina, oh, Trump is bad because he says this, because <laughs> he's got a sexy wife and uh, so on and so forth. No? <laughs> Tapos ginawa niya ito nung bata siya. Da, 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 da. Kaya ayaw na ayaw nila si Trump. No? Tapos bas, ganyan pa magsalita, mayabang siya magsalita. Wag, wag kayong magpa wag kayong mag, madadala mm. sa ganyang klasing na uh, superficial and uh, superficial issues mm. tignan niyo po yung ginagawa yes. look at the results of what they do mm. it's the actions that really speak louder than the words mm. no? dito po kay sa atin kay Duterte <laughs> Kaya po kami sa KDP, hindi po nawawalan ng, uh, ng pag-asa. Kasi po, pag uh, nakita nyo na, ito yung salita niya. Mm. May kita natin, ito yung gawa. Mm. Kadalasan, nahuhuli yung gawa sa salita. Minsan, sobra-sobra na yung salita, pero yung gawa hindi umaandar. Mm. Kanya ang sinasabi po natin, bakit Ayaw umandar yung gawa katulad ng paglalaban na niya sa oligarko. Ang ang conclusion po natin ay pinipigil mm. ng mga tauhan. Mm. Hindi magawa. Mm. Pinipigil nila nila Dominguez. Jokno, nila Dominguez. nila Dominguez, Cusi. nila Cusi, mm. nila sabi nila pati daw si Bongo, mm. no? pinipigil na umaria ang presidente laban sa mga oligarko. No? Eh yung salita ng presidente, okay na. Naghihintay ka ng, ng susunod na aksyon. Pigil. Ngayon, sinong binibintangan ng tao ngayon? No? Tayo, sinasabi natin, kabinete. Pero yung marami dyan mga tao nagsasabi, presidente, baka linoloko lang tayo. This is the conclusion and they are actually destroying Duterte, mm. this cabal, this, mm. this cabinet members, mm. these uh, so-called advisors mm. are in effect destroying Duterte himself. Mm. And so what if he gets destroyed? Anyway, they are rich already. Yeah. At pag uh, dahil ma- ang iiral, mga oligarko, buhay pa rin sila. By that time, wala na silang pakialam kay Duterte. This is what's yeah. happening. Yeah. Huh? And that, that, kala ng mga ibang mga DDS, <laughs> kalaban namin si Duterte, hindi po. Huwag po kayong madala sa ganyan. Palaliman nyo lang konunti ang inyong pag-iisip and you will see. Hmm. Going back to Trump, yes. the same thing. The same thing. Yes. And th- this is, 
this is what is happening, and the, they're doing this to to him in order to to take control. They cannot take control unless they dumb down the people. And Trump is trying to tell the people about what is important. Etong meron ng mga ano, meron ng mga pahayag na yon na sila sabi, etong draining the swamp. Inihintay nila na itong mga taong uh, may kagagawan ng 9-11, yung pagsabog ng dalawang building, mm-hmm. na, uh, may indict na, makakasuhan na. Mm-hmm. Ito yung mga napakataas na posisyon sa, yes. sa gobyerno mm-hmm. na sila ang nagplano mm-hmm. at sila ang kumamada kasama nila, pakonsyaba nila yung uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm yung sa kasama nila yung Saudi Arabian ambassador no yan uh, dito sa dito sa 9/11 ang plano doon talaga hindi basta lang siraan yung sirain yung dalawang building pagkaroon ng reason to invade the, uh, uh, ano uh, the Middle East at buhat doon hindi na sila lumabas sa Middle East oh. Hindi na. Hindi na. Kinuha na nila lahat ng mga mm. langis. Mm. Yung mga oil fields. Yun ang talagang kinuha. Sa, sa Libya, mm. yun ang kinuha nila. Yung oil fields. Diba po? Yung ISIS. Ginawa nila yung ISIS para buwagin itong mga mm. itong mga mga namumuno sa iba-ibang bansa. Sa Syria, gusto nilang buwagin itong si Al- Eh, uh, Asad. Pero sino gumawa ng ISIS? Sila rin. Yeah. Yan yung binigyan nila ng uh, ito rin <laughs> Al-Qaeda. Yeah. Binigyan nila ng armas sa Libya mm. para patayin si Gaddafi. Tapos linipat nila dito sa Syria yeah. pero inibang pangalan. Oh, ISIS, ISIS naman. Hmm. Bakit yung ISIS? Tinanong nyo sa sarili nyo. Bakit yung ISIS? Walang pinapatay na hudyo. Wala silang hinahanap na Jews. Hmm. Di ba ba? Saka ngayon, may balita ba tayo with ISIS? Ha? Wala na. Wala na. Pero yung ISIS na pumunta na dito sa Pilipinas. Oh, pero no? wala na. Because Obama's not in power anymore. Yes. Uh-huh. That's what they're saying. Kasi, kasi po, kontroladong kontrolado nila yung paglagaan. Uh-huh. Don't, don't fall into in superficiality. Well, yung, pag nakita nyo ngayon, kinakailangan meron kang inquisitive mind. Uh-huh. Kinakailangan medyo suspicious ka dito sa naririnig mo. O, ano, magtanong-tanong ka sa sarili mo. Dahil kakayanin mo mahanapan ng hmm. tutuwe. No? Kung kung ano ka, kung nakahanda uh, kang mag mm. Hindi yung, uh, uh, katulad ng may iba, naghahanap na lahat. Pag nakakita sila ngayon, eto na yung katotohan. Not necessarily. Na, mm. Hanapin nyo, hanapin nyo, you start digging, you start digging, look at the history, yes. look at the, ano, and look for who is the beneficiary yes. of this of this event. Um, Sam, ito, itong isang nangyayari ngayon, baka eh, nabalitaan nyo po, buong California, mm, mm. buong California, state of California, there are right now, ang, ang uh, narinig ko, 130 wildfires going on. Mm. Simultaneously, simultaneously, 130 wildfires. Sabi ng mga firemen, never, hmm. never in history did this thing ever happen. The 130 fires going out, going up at the same time in the whole state of California. So, ano ang uh, iniimbestigan nila ngayon? Hmm. Nakikita nila na this is not accidental. Hmm. Right. Diba? Yeah. Marami na silang nahuli. Kasi tumataas at tumataas, pati sa Portland, pati sa ano, yung wildfires, tumadami pa daw. 
Um, pero unprecedented daw. First time daw na nangyari yun. So, nag-invest sila. And then, nakahuli sila ng mga sila mismo. Sino, uh, arsonist. May mga arsonist na umpisa talaga ng, ng mga tunog. No? Uh, at dito lang, dito lang sa California. Hmm. Hindi lumilipat uh, sa Canada. <laughs> Para so, alam nila yung border. Alam nila yung border. <laughs> yung no? fire, alam nila yung border. Kung saan sila magsusunog. Ba- bakit? You tell me. Economics. One of the targets there is to continue to bring down the economy of California. How big is California? You know, the size of the economy of California is the size of Brazil. Yes. It's the size of the whole Brazil economy. GDP. Uh, Yan ang California. And biggest, ano, uh, electoral votes. 55. You can see uh, where, <laughs> where this thing is going. Yes. No? So, Pero mo yeah. kung arson is dyan. Yung mga iba, nasabi, oh, laser from, from UFOs daw, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> Nahihirap po pa, paniwalaan yung ganyan. Kasi, Yung mga yun, makikita-makikita po yes. ng, uh, yes. ng ating mga, ang, sa kanilang mga satellites, yung mga ganyan. Pero yung mga gumagapang niyan at susunugin yung, yung mga ano, yung antifa. Forest, ang, ang suspicion, yung mga antifa. Yung antifa, what does antifa? Anti-fascist club. No? Yeah. Pero they are a group of terrorists mm-hmm. supposedly funded by guess who? <laughs> Our friend, Our George friend. Soros. Yeah. George Soros, who's now in a wheelchair, very old, no? who swore that he will bring down America and Trump, and Trump. No? before he dies. That is what he swore. So he's using all of his uh, resources now uh, to bring down America and to bring down Trump. Now, he is supposed to be funding these moves of the Antifa. The Antifa is a terror group. Terror group po yan. And it is mobile. Mm-hmm. They move from state to state, from city to city right. to city. And the same faces no, that are instigating looting, destruction, no, and terror. Uh, tapos, naghihintay sila na may papatayin na, na kasamahan nila. Tapos, ginagawa nilang battle cry. Yes. No? This is uh, kasama na yung BLM, Black Lives Matter. Yes. Yan yung mga organization. Pero yung mga, yung mga nakikita natin pong riots sa America, these are all led by Antifa. Uh-huh. using Black Lives Matter, using uh, co-opting a lot of these movements. Pero may kita nyo, hanapin nyo pa. Huwag nyo hanapin sa mainstream media, hindi nila papakita yun. Hanapin nyo, mag, mag, mag ano kayo sa internet, spend time on internet and look at YouTube, look for Antifa riots. And may kita nyo po, yung, yung heads ng Antifa, wala silang, hindi sila, uh, hindi sila nahihiyang sabihin na ang gusto nila, papagsakin yung New America. Mm-hmm. Nasa, from their own words, hindi po kami yung naglalagay ng, ng dyan. Ang, ang intention po nila, sunugin yung buong America at dapat bago, bagong government and socialist or communist mm-hmm. government. Yan ang gusto nila. These are, these are terrorists. And they've been already uh, classified by the FBI and, and by the government as a terrorist organization. So it might be George Soros, matanda na po siya, pero marami siyang ibang galamay na gumagalaw na ganun rin. Okay, hindi pa natin masasabi yung mga pangalan uh, once we do research, but kahit sa inyo po, you do your own research, dig lang po kayo ng nagsabi ni uh, Chairman, kailangan yung intention nyo is genuine, you want to find the truth. 
hindi yung anak kayo ng anti-Trump, yun na yung research nyo. Mm-hmm. Parang yung ginawa nila kay LaRouche dati. Mm-hmm. Uh, since we were talking about LaRouche and his ideas, ang dami pong malapit sa amin. Eh, hindi. Preso si LaRouche. Eh, hindi. Komunista si LaRouche. Eh, gano'n. Pero ang intention nila, makahanap lang ng panglaban. Hindi nila intention to find the truth. Mm-hmm. And if you're truthful, and your intention is genuine, mm-hmm. makikita nyo po yun, yung totoo, kung ano talaga yung nangyari. You, you read. You read what they had written. Yeah, you, sila Rouge, diba? Sila Rouge, no? Oh. You read what they have written. You, you listen to what uh, what they have said and what they have done. Right. No? right. Uh, then you will see, no? Mm-hmm. Eh, itong mga paninira, wala talaga <laughs> mangyari dyan. Uh, kababawan ng kababawan. Right. Eh. Maraming gusto makipag-debate kasi Trump daw or Biden, I said, it's useless eh. Yeah. No? It's really useless. Because we are going to look, you are trying to go, you're going to try to convince yourself <laughs> why you want to, why you want to vote for Biden. No? <laughs> so you will, we, you will attack somebody who's talking about Trump. No? But, so, so, uh, what what happens? Mm-hmm. Uh, and and everything that is being said in the mainstream in mainstream media against Trump is of course negative, mm-hmm. of course. And you cannot say that all of them are not true. There probably is some truth to yeah. some of them. I mm-hmm. don't, but I don't care. Mm-hmm. The more important thing is now and the future. Who is fighting globalization? Who is fighting the military-industrial complex? Mm. Who is fighting uh, pedophilia yes. and uh, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, drug trafficking? No. Who is fighting uh, this idea of uh, of uh, regime change? Regime changes. Yes. Who is fighting? That uh, religion should be uh, not at all. Uh, young, in, uh, 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 what do you call that? The yung ano? Random mga bayan. The, uh, uh, the uh, no, oath of allegiance. Oath of allegiance of God. America. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Democrats and the Antifa want to take out that small phrase, a, a nation under God. Mm. No. Pinapatanggal nila yon dun sa auto of Allegiance nila. Yeah. Sino pa nagpatanggal ng mga cross yes. sa mga classrooms? Mm. Ito mga ito. Ito yung mga kalaban ni Trump. Yes. No? Sino yung uh, uh, nagpa, nagpapatulak ng abortion, late mm. term abortion? Mm. Itong sila Hillary. Mm. Itong sila Biden. Planned Parenthood, sino ba yung mga oh, yan? Yung mga nine months na. <laughs> ang sabi nila, pwede pang patayin. Yes. Tapos ang sasabihin nila, itong Roe versus Wade uh, law and all that. No law, no law will exonerate you from your real crime. Hmm. Murder is Murder. You can convince yourself in every little argument <laughs> about how you protect, uh, the, how the woman's choice must be mm. allowed. Mm. No. You can, all of these things, but murder is murder. Yeah. The moment that little conception, there is conception, no. mm. any time, mm. You stop that life by force, no? all the way up to the time that he gets born. Before he gets born, is murder. Not to to you people. You say, "Pag na panganak na at patay mo, yan ang murder." Hindi po. <laughs> Dito palang murder na. Tignan yung po yung bata. Kung lang makakapagsalita yan. Mm-hmm. No? as a being a murder. Yan po ang... Uh, yan si pro-life president, yan si Trump. Trump is pro-life. pro-life <laughs> no? Ayaw niya po ng abortion mm-hmm. at hindi siya papayag niya. Yan po ang... 
whatever you say about Trump, sabihin mo nang mayabang, masama, tapos meron naging girlfriend yan, ganito, ganito, tapos, uh, kung ano-anong sinasabi niya daw tungkol sa blacks, you know, whatever you say, look at present and yes. the future. What he stands for is that. Is that. You know, Paul, so we have about, well, 15 minutes left. You want to go through yeah. some... Meron pa bang, wala na tayong ano, papalabas? Uh, wala. Wala na. Okay, uh, our, these are comments from our listeners and viewers. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Ruben Franco. Sir, mayroon pa ba kayong research about WHO diagnostic protocols issued to doctors or hospital administrators regarding COVID and other medical conditions? No, uh, Ruben, but there are... Uh... Not on the Philippines. We haven't done a deep dive into Philippine situation. No? Pero yung sa US and the CDC, lumalabas at lumalabas itong mga datos. No? Ang mahirap kasi sa datos uh, is that sometimes it's raw. So pag nakita nyo po yan, ang hirap i-extrapolate. So sometimes the experts do it for us and fine. But um, Marami pong datos na pinapalitan ngayon. That's what we know. Uh, for example, yung sinabi natin last time about the widths, yung trade trade uh, uh, of the W World Bank, uh, yung website nila. Pinalitan na po nila, hindi na... Kasi nilabas namin dati, uh, like last week or a week before, sinabi namin there is a website that says uh, under World Bank, that says in 2018 nag-export sila ng nag-export sila ng uh, COVID-19 test kits na nakalagay doon. Eh ngayon po pag nag-log on kayo hindi na tawag na COVID-19 test kits, nakalagay medical test kits na lang. Mm -hmm. So it's the same numbers pero yung yung column na yun pinalitan. Mm -hmm. So there's a marami pong nangyayaring ganyan ngayon. So but uh, once we have we will bring out as we go so well, yeah that's why uh, napakahirap po ano because bin margin the authority the WHO mm -hmm. starts to change his uh <laughs> his uh, position mm -hmm. and changing their data no kasi yan din siya din authority eh, no <laughs> pag na, medyo nagugulan po ang tao so uh ang the best the best uh, Mr. Uh, Ruben Franco no is a uh, Always, always, no. Uh, push for the people to to improve their uh, immune system. Mm -hmm. What are the vitamins that one has to take every day? Vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, with zinc. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the vitamins that and or the diets that they have to take every day to strengthen their immune system? Mm -hmm. no? You know, num number one important. Ngayon, hindi na natin alam ngayon, masyadong magulo na whether there is a, this is a manufactured disease or whether it is not. Whether it was manufactured in the U.S. or in China, we don't really know. Mm -hmm. no. uh, right now, you just uh, prepare and strengthen your immune system. No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, no, I'd like to say, Ruben, there, is, there are groups on Facebook, at least, na doctors who are... Uh, who, who are discussing their own protocols, not the official protocols of the DOH and the WHO. Ang pinupush nga nila yung, yung sinasabi natin HCQ with uh, azithromycin as a treatment, uh, early treatment protocols. Hindi nila sinusunod yung WHO and DOH. So hanapin po natin yan and then we can discuss. Okay. Uh, text message. Text message. U.S. and China, two largest economy into trade war. China, biggest population in the world, also biggest importer of oil. While Philippines is the second biggest population in ASEAN, next to Indonesia. May langis pero Philippines wala kaya Philippine biggest oil importer in ASEAN. Kaya Philippines mahal kuryente. Kaya tama plano ni Duterte, diplomacy, bilateral talk mm -hmm. for joint oil gas uh, exploration on 60-40 sharing para umunlad ang bansa. 
kay sa, sa, sa dispute, na dispute ng dispute, mamamatay na tayo, hmm. lahat wala pang makinabang. I, I agree that there should be a, uh, a commercial uh, arrangement without surrendering our claims. Hmm. Without surrendering our territorial claims. Pero habang hindi pa nare-resolve ba yan, hmm. makipag- uh, makipag ano na tayo makipag uh, negosyo no uh, tayo para makinabang dito ang mga populasyon uh, but i also wanted to comment on that uh, kaya mataas yung electricity po natin hindi dahil wala tayong langis ha oh yes that's not the that's not the reason that's for the reason. the reason is um epira uh, that is the that is the only reason that we can think of right now and and that is the only reason why we are paying the highest in the world just in the world because despite us not being industrialized we're paying the highest electricity in the world prices in the world it is not because we don't have oil that's not the connection right okay it's because uh, we uh, we privatized this and yes. we gave it to the oligarchs and they were allowed uh, by law mm -hmm. to increase and increase the price of electricity to a point where yeah. the people are already uh, getting asphyxiated na na po also the oil regu deregulation and oil deregulation ganyan style ng mga dilawan magpakalat sismis may malubhang sakit si Duterte ganyan rin ginawa nila kay Marcos bago bumalik si Ninoy sa Philippines nagpakalat ng sismis si Marcos may lupus may sakit malapit ng mamatay Nagpabaril si Ninoy August 21 kaya naupo si Cory mm -hmm. President. Namatay lang si Marcos 1989 after 6 years because of stress kasi maraming paratang. Lahat ng klaseng pagnanakaw ikinaso kay Imelda sa US Court. Desisyon ng Korte, Imelda not guilty in all counts. Okay, George Wallace. Can you read it? George Wallace, the 30 announces his affiliation to the New World Order. Official na po ito. Been posting this long time ago. I know the 30 since his first day in office. Ngayon, alam ninyo bakit naka-lockdown pa rin tayo at bakit uutang na tayo na walang hanggan na pagbabayaran ng mga anak natin. Gago yan si Digong. Nilagay ang bansa sa life and death situation. FYI, ang bansang Sweden di nag-lockdown, no mass, no social distancing mandate. One death of COVID in August. So COVID is a make-believe shit. Still shows how their government have the balls to defy everyone. It's called political will and real governance. Time to oust Duterte and mandate Lugao to end the lockdown or she won't get that position. Well, actually, I don't agree with oust Duterte at this point. Yeah, no. And all of that is uh, probably your opinion. No? Speculation. But I cannot, uh, I cannot disagree the fact that there should be certain things done mm. by Duterte mm. which he is not doing up to now. No? Mm. Like I was trying to explain earlier mm. no? that uh, Duterte is saying certain things that are correct but the actual action mm. is not is not uh, following. Yes. I will only in at this point surmise that it is his cabinet <clears throat> and members of his cabinet that are stopping him. No? At this point, that's the best that I can do because we don't have any other uh, information. Uh, information that will uh, make us say na gago yan si Digo. <laughs> Uh, hindi po sa yeah. aming po tingin yeah. I, he's doing whatever he can mm -hmm. but uh, he like you said you, you need political will but if your whole cabinet is stopping you and you're there in a position of uh, president uutos mo na hindi ka pa bin susundan mm -hmm. hindi mo naman ma-fire out lahat sila yeah. No? Yeah. so Yan po ang uh, sitwasyon, no? ang nakikita namin. Bigyan po natin ng konti pang panahon. No? We, would, we would know, I think, from, our, from, our, uh, from who we are in KDP, the chairman, uh, we've been fighting this fight for decades already. I think we would know if Duterte is, uh, 
blind follower of what you call the new world order yeah. or not. I yeah. think he is trying his best. He sometimes he makes mistakes and sometimes he but the jury's still out as far as we're concerned. RG Mabayad. Ang hindi ko lang po maintindihan kung meron kay Duque, bakit niya, kaya gusto-gusto siya na ating Pangulo. Hindi ko rin maintindihan yan, Margie. Uh, speaking of his mistakes <laughs> and confusing yeah. Yeah, policies. May, sinasabi ko na kuminsan dito, eh, sabi ko, sino ba may control? Si Duterte, kontrolado niya ba si Duque? O si Duque, kontrolado niya si, du, si Duterte? No? Mm. Uh, dahil... Uh, Lantaran na eh, no? nakikita yeah. na ang kanyang uh, marahil na uh, no, involvement, pati na dito sa PhilHealth yes. and over the years, yes. kung gaano karami. Uh, pati na yung Deng Baksha at lahat-lahat dyan, parang nakatutok lahat kay, kay Duque at uh, sige pa rin ang... Uh, ang uh, maniniwala daw ni Pangulo kay Duque. <laughs> it, it, it's difficult, no? Siguro... Just to keep it in perspective, sa dami at sa lalim ng mga problema dito sa Pilipinas, di ba? Uh, if you see PhilHealth and the other things, and then isipin mo kung presidente ka, you have six years <coughs> to fix all of this. <laughs> Medyo mabigat talaga. But, you know nga, doesn't mean people, uh, KDP and our, our, the citizenry should, should, should not call, call out what is... What Alam niyo po, tinan niyo yung health ha, tinan niyo oh, ito sa... Oh, oh. Sabihin natin, tanggalin niya si Duque. Oh. Next problem. <laughs> uh, ano, sino ang ilalagay niya? Mm. No. Pangalawa, mm. yung ilalagay niya, ano yung gagawin? Right. O paano niya nga ayusin yung napakalalim na okay. mga sira dito sa bureaukrasya? Mm. No? Mm. So, unless you uh, know exactly... Yes what the problems are no? and how deep it goes, no? you maybe it's not good to make that decision to just take him out. Mm. No? Mm. You have to understand the depth of the problem and the source of the problem, yes. and then you will decide who is the best person right. for this job. No? Uh, kanya po ma- mahirap yan kasi health. No? Ang normally ang hahanapin mo sa health doctor din hindi mm. po ba no yeah. tapos hahanapin mo yung management capability right. hahanapin mo pa yung integrity at mm. ay nako tapos yung <laughs> yung pagkakaintindi niya sa buong sistema correct no? yes so saka na ya sabihin nila oh tigil na pill health paano na yung tao no oh. diba? hindi naman pwedeng so we we just say uh, i'm not Rationalizing. Yeah, yeah. Not Did, apologizing for... We were not apologizing for uh, Duterte. Duque or Duterte. No. But sometimes, before you make a uh, decision, it is prudent. Hmm. It is prudent to uh, try to understand the situation. Try to imagine hmm. Hmm. what is going on hmm. in the person's mind no, that is making it difficult. Madaling sabihin... Ah, magtanakaw din yan si, du- si Duterte, kanya mag- yeah, yeah, yeah. sinusuport tayo niya. Madali pong uh, conclusion yun. Eh. Pero wag muna tayo pumunta doon. Isipin muna natin yung reasons mm-hmm. bakit hindi maka... Okay. And then, give it a little ano, uh, uh, yeah. uh, rational thinking. No? Mm-hmm. Lizel Resulyar, halos lahat ng nasa media at ilang he- ahensya ng pagbabalita ay nabayaran, nababayaran para takutin ang tao ganyan. Tayo nilalaro ng demonyong tao ng mga yan. DOH, WHO at ilang pang nasasakupan nila para lang sa pansariling kapakanan nila. Tama po yan. Happy Joy 22. Thank you po. An- unti-unti na po tayo dumarami ng issue ng covid Uh, na may COVID-19. COVID-19 pala. We as one support your program, Team Nosa Van- Nosa Nostra Dante, Dante Vlog. Vlog. Thank you. Yeah, happy thank joy. you, Dante. Yan, yan sabi mong COVID-19. Tingnan niyo po. <laughs> Totoo po ito, ha? Yeah, yeah. Nung lumabas yung PhilHealth na scandals, bigla-bigla po daw bumaba ang mga kasong COVID. Eh. Yeah. No? Ngayon na uh, minamaniobra uh, na naman nila pagtaas ng konti, 
para hindi masyadong halata. Uh, no? Correct. Pero, <laughs> eh, halata ang halata pong gusto sabihin, saan ba galing yung mga figurang yan? Yes. Hindi ba sa DOH? Hindi ba kay Duque? Uh, Di ba? Si Son Nasayaw. Pag na-share po, pag share share po ang FB video ninyo, false information daw. <laughs> Salamat po sa mga impormasyon na pinapahayag nyo. Sana mamulat na sa katotohanan ng mga nasa kinauhulan. Yes, keep going. Basta share lang ng share. Huwag kayo matakot dito sa Facebook. Magigising din itong mga to. Rose Ver- Vernaccio. Rose Marie Vernaccio. Hello Mr. Wood, Shanita Smaldes, watching your vlog. 5.44 a.m. U.S. Northwest Time. Wow, that is in ano, Portland. Thank you for all the information you're sharing here in the U.S. John Hopkins University is always giving data every day. Uh, <laughs> it's for me very questionable. Yes. Yes, because they've done it before. That's why it's questionable. If, you know, integrity. Yan eh. So if they've, they've uh, mixed up the data before, then why won't they do it now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Samuel Serio, oh, ingat po kayo dyan sa, sa Northwest. Samuel so, Serio. Uh, Maraming salamat sa inyong magandang paliwanag, Samuel Serio. Mark Sabilio, the best talaga ang KDP. Always watching from CA. Trump 2020, go! Evangelina Sabella, watching from Chicago. George Wallace, kay tayo group, FB, then let's discuss. No political politician affiliation. Huwag na tayong maghintay kung kailan may papasa na namin sila batas. Naman sila batas. Way before they declared the ECQ, alam ko na ito, scam na ito. Katulad din ito ng, ng SARS mm-hmm. na na-exposed sa uh, as pharma-initiated. Been in research for 20 years, I can contribute in some other ways. Bid clips, documentary, anyone i- create a group, time to man up mga kababayan. Hey, George. Okay, George. We'll take um, your consideration. Take your uh, suggestion. There's more yan. Uh, alam niyo po yun, alam niyo po, itong, uh, ito pong mga... Uh, lumalabas. Uh, gusto ko lang idagdag. Nabalitaan po namin at uh, mukhang re- reliable po yung source. Yung in the year 2018 2018 uh, mga iba-iba pong lugar sa buong mundo nagmamanufacture na sila ng COVID-19 test kits. COVID-19 test kits. Ang tawag po nila dito, COVID-19 test kits. 2018 pa lang. Kalaban natin, biglaan ito. Bakit sila gumagawa na dahil alam nila, negosyo yan, maraming mga kailangan. At na- nauuna na sila. Eh, napilitan na yung website. Uh, pero you can go back. Pero ngayon, nakalagay, same figures, exacto, pero nakalagay medical test kits na lang. Uh-huh. <laughs> Generic na lang. RJ Habeliana, mabuhay. Yeah, mabuhay ka, RJ. Uh, ka RJ is with us. With us, Tuesday. Tuesday. Si RJ, tsaka si Toti, kasama natin Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Mm. Kasama din, uh, si RJ, meron din siyang uh, programa. Yes, yes. Ang uh, 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 sulong uh, Pilipinas. Sulong Pilipinas. Si Toti, meron din siyang programa earlier, sa Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays. Uh, Toti Speaks. So, basta dito lang kayo sa KDP. Pag binan po tayo ng Facebook, babalik at babalik rin tayo. Don't worry. Feed Senon, tap, tap. Tanong ko lang po sana, ito you can answer. Uh-huh. Kung merong project na naipagawa si Cory kahit isa man lang, thanks po. <laughs> Napakahirap mo man ang tanong. <laughs> Napakahirap na ang tanong. Mag-research mo na kami. <laughs> Yung project po niya, dinismantle niya po lahat ng mga gandang project ni, ni, ni Marcos. Marcos yeah. no? Wala. Nuclear plant. Wala, wala po akong maisip na talagang project niya. Kung man meron, uh, mga, mga proyekto ni Marcos na nasa na, na ipinatuloy niya. Oh, katulad oh. po ng mga overpass. Yes, ganyan, yes, na, yes. Uh, katulad po ng mga ibang uh, na, nasa plano na ni Marcos. Siya mismo po, wala po akong alam eh, na, uh, na ginawa niya kung let's say 
nung sa kanyang sarili gumawa ba siya ng dam, for example, or uh, power generation. I don't think so. Wala po akong naalala ng ganyan. Although pinalitan yung pangalan ng airport natin. Ayun. Uh, <laughs> Ninoy Aquino in, Airport. In-approve in niya. Uh, in-approve niya yun. Uh. Irene Ponzo Granado. Granado, first time ko lang napanood ng video nyo pero namulat ako sa maraming bagay-bagay. Salamat. Irene. Salamat. Keep tuning in po sa KDP. Right. Ronald Manyari, good evening Sir Bocheritas. Mabuhay po kayo. Thank you. Jose Camaya from Angeles City. Freddy Ordina, Saudi officials are summoned in relation to 9-11 Twin Tower tragedy. Tama. Effect of JAFTA. That is against Foreign Terrorist Act, Saudi officials. Correct. Building 7 collapsed without trigger. Broadcaster reporting about collapse of Building 7. Hindi pa nangyayari na una report niya. Yes, I, I saw that uh, as it was happening. Uh, Imagine, ha? It was BBC yata. Hindi pa nangyayari yung collapse ng Building 7. Rini-report na sa television. Yeah, yung report, binabasa niya sa prompter, nakalagay, W, uh, Twin Tower at Building 7, Na, na collapse pero hindi pa collapse yung building 7 at the time <laughs> so alam niya tinatawag niya Operation Mockingbird ng CIA uh-huh. tignan niyo po yun Esteban Pagtakahan good evening Sir Butch at Sir Itos good evening Ronald Manyari kung sisikla bang gera sa pagitan ng America at China kanino po kaya kakampi si Pangulong Duterte kung walang kampihan kaya o kaya niya na mag-referee na lang. <laughs> Alam niyo po, pag yung gera niyan, nuclear, no? Wala na yan. Uh, wala na pong magagawa si Pangulong Duterte pag nag-umpisa yan. Pero sinasabi ko po sa inyo, bago mag-umpisa yan, mayroon pang pwedeng gawin si yes. Pangulong Duterte. Yes. Kung uh, makakausap lang po namin kung paano at ano yung gagawin niya. Right. No? Right. Uh, sana uh, magkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon. No? There is a way. We have to try. We have to try to prevent the war. Yes. No? Hindi, hindi naman tanga yun si, uh, si Trump or Xi Jinping. They don't want war. But there's so many but, forces uh-uh. under them. Pinatawag na deep state. Isa lang po ang grupo ang gusto ng uh, gera is globalists. The globalists, the deep state. Sila lang po ang may gusto niya. Alam niyo po ngayon, nagtututukan na yan dalawang yan sa South China Sea. At baka meron isang, uh, let's say, American plane hmm. na uh, papagsabihan yung, hmm. uh, yung tao nila, yung hmm. piloto, tumugod ka dyan sa China at magpa ka. magpaputok ka dito ng uh, isang building. Pag ginawa niya po 'yan, gera na ng malawakan, sigurado po 'yan, no? Ba- banatan na ng gusto 'yan. Tayo nandito, tatamaan po tayo. Kasi marami silang mga bapor na pandigmaan dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, nandito po siya Subic, nandiyan sa pag uh, kapaligid natin sa Sambuanga at lahat-lahat na 'yan. So, ano po ang uh, pag meron pong uh, nagbagland ng nuclear uh, bomb dito sa atin, siguro dito sa ating Pilipinas, tatlong nuclear bomb, lubog na yung buong Pilipinas eh. No? Isa pa lang, wala na tayo. No. Na tayo wala Kaya na. dapat po gagawin natin ang lahat ng ating kakayanan na huwag magkaroon ng gera. And Duterte is in a unique position. Kaya niya po. Palagay oh. ko kakayahin niya para, pero tama dapat yung uh, direksyon. Radio Redina, brother of Bush was the head of security of Twin Tower who put the thermite in the building for implosion. Correct. That's true. Rod White, Periabas. Good evening, Katipunan. Idol Butch Valdez at Itos. Keep safe, stay good, help po sa inyo. Ayaw talaga ng mga communist terrorists na gumanda ang Pilipinas. Nililinis ang Manila Bay. Contra naman sila at sinakyan pa ng mga kultong dilawan. Watching you always from Subic Zambales. Thank you. That's true. You know, uh, I wanted to say itong Rod White, no? Tama ka, mga hinala mo. Pero itong mga communists and these leftist groups are the same network of Antifa. Uh, okay? <coughs> so we have to understand that. Yung Antifa po sa America. Sa America. Uh, it's the same then, network. Then. The same network. Lahat ng, kumbaga, sila rin ang kumontra sa nuclear power plant. 
Sila rin ang kumagra ng mga industrialization, ng mga dams, ng mga, ng mga infrastructure projects. Parati sila. Minsan kasama pa yung mga pare. But this is the network of the Soros network of mga NGOs around the world. They oppose all of these things in the different countries, preventing those countries development. from development. They are anti-development and anti-human. So pag sumasama dyan yung mga dilawan na sinasabi natin, nakikisabay sa ano, they're, they're the same. They're the environmental groups. They are the like, Lahat sila. Okay? So you have to look at it that way. Ito yung mga sinasabi natin big picture. Okay? Betty P. Pichiao. Watch it from Australia. Wow. Mabuhay ito sa Embuchvaldez. Living. Saan sa sa Australia kaya yun? Sa so Sydney or uh, yeah. Melbourne? Uh, Rigor Gitla. Gitla. Kaya pala pinaalis ni Ferdinand Marcos at nilagay nila tuta nila. Pinaalis si Ferdinand Marcos at uh, nilagay nila ang tuta nila na si Corico. Um, yes. Correct. Exactly. Glenn Buwan. Kasama rin siguro si J. Edgar Hoover at mga plat sa kabal. Uh, J. Edgar Hoover was the FBI head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sabi nila, may kinalaman daw siya sa pagpaplano sa yeah. pagpatay kay Kennedy. Yes. Hindi lang yung unang Kennedy, yung pangalawang Kennedy din at, uh, at Martin uh, and Martin Luther King. Yes. Yes. Kaya po yan si J. Edgar Hoover sa FBI. Head po siya ng FBI. Yes. And you're right, Glenn. Tama yan. If you know the history of J. Edgar Hoover and who were his uh, handlers, makikita po natin yan. Uh, Kathy Cruz. I agree. Ako, mami ni Roxy. <laughs> I agree. Kalat sila at nasa lahat ng sektor ng lipunan, nasa three branches of government, including media. Pero sa media, hati na rin kasi, kasi malaki ang naging impact ng mga bloggers para magising at iba't ibang media men. Para magkaroon ng lakas ng loob, mawalan sa tanikala ng kasinungalingan gamit ng pera. Implu- kasi nga ito, no? Impluensya para maligtahan ng media. That's right, Kathy. <laughs> That's right, Mabuhay ka. Kathy. Yes. Uh, Erlinda Esmabe Garcia. Mabuhay kayo. Stay safe. God bless. Thank you. Erlinda. Elizabeth de los Reyes Gutierrez. Good evening po, Sir Itos and Sir Bush. Stay safe. Stay safe film po kayo. Cesar Soberano. 9-11 was definitely an inside job to justify Deep State's worldwide hegemonic campaign called Project for the New American Century and loot it all it can loot from their conquered can. peoples. That's right. It's a good summary. Rose Riolada, mabuhay po ang ating katipunan ng demokratikong Pilipino. God bless po kay uh, Kabuch and your son Itos. Thank you po for enlightening discussion. Thank you, Rose. By the way, Dina, all multinational companies of USA submit boycott report to U.S. government, a questionnaire on selling slash purchasing what products involving Middle East countries since I know 1979. Kathy Cruz, Save the Nation, La Rouge Philippines, and KDP contributes dramatically because of its different views, opinions, and stand for country and humanity. Just keep on informing the public. Inject the virus of truth. And Kathy, okay, Kathy. Palaruan. Dennis Palaruan. Maboy pa kayo, Attorney Bush and Attorney Itos Valdez. Lawyers na tayo. <laughs> Naniniwala po ako, bago siguro mag-eleksyon sa Amerika, ay baka banatan na ng Amerika ang China. At mga lum- maglunsad. maglunsad na ang American ng counter-attack mo dyan sa South China Sea at magkaroon ng full-scale war. Well, it's, it's, it, the tension is very high, but uh, we're not predicting that because so many things can happen before that. Sana po huwag magkaroon ng ganyan. Yes. Pero ang, ang, ang ating pong... Uh, uh, ang ating pong ginakatakutan, mm-hmm. no? Uh, ayun nga, mag-umpisa, uh, mag- magkaroon ng um, ano dyan. Alam nyo po ngayon, maski aksidente lang po, no? konting aksidente lang ang mangyari, no? ay uh, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng uh, lumiyab yung uh, gera niyan. No? Yes, because, because uh, maraming may gustong magkagera, kaya delikado. Mm-hmm. So, blend one. Sana mag-create ulit ng Economic Intelligence and Investigation Bureau or Commission, independent and with wider powers. 
pwede maging besigahang hanggang sa mga illegal and anti-Filipino policies and contracts, etc. Okay, maganda yan, uh, um, Glenn. Yeah, ako, natin. ako naman, uh, Glenn, um, <coughs> I think that's uh, that's that's something that's that that can be done without a special uh, a, a commission, like uh, because that's what this FBI was doing. Nagahanap sila ng komunista, and then based on rumor, they mm-hmm. persecute nila. So tayo hindi naman kailangan ng ganon. Our constitution, I think, is has enough uh, basis. To charge people with actual treason and you know uh, betrayal of the uh, economic interests of our country. Bill Valparaiso, magandang gabi po Sir Butch and Sir Itos at sa ating katipunan. Magandang gabi. Redlex Edyanol Dayola. Good evening Sir Butch, Itos. Watching from Zambales. Virgie Rosales Ariola, good evening po. Cez Ramiro, good evening. Watching from Las Piñas. Raz Mendoza, magandang bi po sa inyong dalawa, the father and son with a brilliant brain. Talam po, ako yung taga-interview. <laughs> Crime Bastre. Mabuhay po kayo mga idol. Marisa Kamba, <clears throat> di lang pala Pilipinas ay may malaking problema sa, sa stream me- mainstream, mainstream media. media. Grabe, yes. The whole world actually. As a problem mm-hmm. with mainstream media. Kasi kontrolado mm-hmm. na nila eh. Uh, Minerva Soto Kakal. Well-informed populace can't be fooled. Correct. Exactly why. That's the, how uh, uh, it should be fought. Mm-hmm. The education of the uh, uh, great masses of Filipinos. Rose Rialada. It's true for Sir Butch and Sir Itos. It all boils down to good against evil. Correct. Okasay nada. Mga sir, Rappler is funded by CIA. Yes. yes, National Endowment for Democracy, Soros Network, same. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think even even this platform that we're live streaming now. Glenn Buwan, parang totoo nga ang sasabihan ng kanto. Nangako na nga, minura at binanatan. Binantaan. Bina, binantaan, eh gusto nyo pang tuparin. <laughs> Tama. Ed, Edmund Prado, inevitable if situation worsened. I guess he's talking about the war. Danger. Pedi Oredina, Jews are fake Jews. They are Zionist, took land of Israel through Balfour Declaration as prize for World War I and World War II. Well, that, the, that one was, the Balfour was uh, conceived and created by the British uh, mm-hmm. in terms of the, uh, to help their globalist agenda. Nino Montellano, kaya pala NBA, ganun ginagawa nila. Yes, the NBA, sadly, uh, just to, to talk, kasi mga athletes, they disrespect the flag uh, and they are going with Black Lives Matter. Uh, instead of standing up for the national anthem, lumulod sila, yung iba, yung WNBA, nag-walk out. Para nilang pinapakita na wala silang respeto sa Amerika. Um, mm-hmm. But the NBA is also controlled by corporate forces. Mm-hmm. So, and they're told to do this. Now, hindi ko sinasabing mababait yung mga players, but they're miseducated or uneducated, actually. They don't know enough, pero nakikisama lang sila kasi bayad sila. Mm-hmm. But, yung epekto po niyan, lahat ng major sports sa US now, yung ratings nila, 30, 35, 40% down. Wala nang gusto manood ng ganyan kasi ang gusto lang nila, sports. Ayaw nila sinasabihan sila na Black Lives Matter, ito yung dapat gawin natin. So lahat ng rating sila, bagsak na. E nung sumanib itong mga basketball players uh-huh. dito sa Black Lives Matter, hmm. sumanib sila dyan sa kampanya ng ganyan. Hmm. Yung parang racial divide, hmm. no? gumagawa sila ng ganito. At ang uh, ginagawa pa nila, yung sinasabi nila, Uh, ano na yun uh, sa education yung, yung pinigil ni Trump ah yung critical race theory critical race theory mm-hmm. na, na ang sinasabi nila um, kinakailangan daw yung mga puti ano yeah kasi yung, yung the reason why ano yung mga puti uh, mas mayaman eh, dahil sa puti sila uh-huh. mas, mas, mas successful economically dahil puti sila mas mas maganda kasi yung pamilya nila dahil, uh, nuclear family dahil puti dahil sila. Puti sila. Yun yung tinuturo sa eskwela yes, na yes. at uh, pinapigil ni ni Trump yan. Yan ang racist theory. Eh, tingnan niyo naman mm-hmm. si si LeBron James. 
Magkano ba kinikita ni Lebron mm. James kada taon? Mm. Siguro mga mga 10, 20, 20, 20 million dollars a year. Mm. Ha? Mm. Uh, hindi naman siya puti. Kanya siya, <laughs> kanya siya kumikita ng ganyan dahil itim siya. Correct. Yung mga puting ganyan, hindi na hindi kumikita ng ganyan kalaki. Yes. So, But you can see, yeah. they're playing this thing and it's all convoluted. Mm. No? Orlando Marquez, good evening po, Cap Butch and Company, at sa lahat ng ating mga katipon. Sir, may idea po ba kayo sa isang German national na si Klaus Schwab? Every January, nagmi-meeting sila sa Davos, Switzerland with Prince Charles. And yes, Carl Schwab, I think. Carl, oh, anyway, Klaus Schwab. Po, Klaus Schwab. Uh, not him in particular, pero uh, the meetings in Davos is who uh, is who is part of the elite that want one world government. Um, these are the rich countries and, and personalities, businessmen, politicians, and, and celebrities that meet there and discuss ano yung policy ang gagawin natin sa mundo. Gusto ko lang idagdag. Yan si Prince Charles, Bill Gates, at WHO, at marami pa silang ibang kasama. They are known and publicly known as depopulationists. These are people that are looking for ways how to bring down the world's population no? uh, probably uh, to 1 billion people mm. from 7 or 8 billion gusto nilang dalin sa 1 billion mm. in only one generation yeah. in 20 years. Mm. Gusto nilang bawasan na ganyang karami. At ang kanilang mga pamamaraan ay sinasabi nila ang gera hindi kayang bababain na ganyan. Mm. Maraming ganyan. Ang, uh, ang um, uh, for, uh, chemical warfare, no? hindi rin kayang pababain Mahal. na ganyan. Uh, ang mga tao, pag uh, inayos mo yung, uh, yung kanilang ano, yung kanilang sakit, oh, pero pag nag-impose ka ng uh, epidemia, mm. no, Maraming mamamatay. Pero hindi pa rin kaya. Ang pinaka ang pinaka kakayanin bumagsak ng ganyang kabilis ang populasyon ay gutom. Hmm. You have to destroy the economy of the world so that the people who will die will be substantial and you will finish the population down to 1 billion in one generation. This is Prince Charles. Yung tatay niya rin, mm. nung nakakapagsalita pa, <laughs> si Prince uh, Philip. Philip, yan din ang kanilang pag-iisip. You quote ni Philip. Si Prince Philip po, madalas siyang nagsasalita noon in, in speeches, tsaka in, in television interviews and kanyang mga sinulat, ang sinasabi niya, he wants To if if uh, if uh, and the, the reincarnation kasi yung problema daw overpopulation overpopulation sabi nga sabi nga if reincarnation were true mm. sabi nga I would like to be reincarnated as a specially deadly virus so that I can make my contribution to the world's overpopulation problem gusto niyang maging virus, katulad nitong COVID. <laughs> virus, no? virus. Virus. Mm. Para makapagpatay siya ng marami at na, ma, ma, uh, matutulungan niya ang mundo sa overpopulation problem. Yan ang mindset niya. Ganito po ang pag-iisip nitong mga ito. Yan sila Bill Gates, Prince, Prince Charles, at meron pa silang mga ibang kasamahan sa WHO. Mm. No? Mm. At siguro yung mga Fauci, yung mga mm. Deep State, mm. yung mga... Lahat sila ganyan mag-isip. No? At bantayan nyo po, no? hindi pa, ngayon pa lang naranasan natin ay umpisa mm. ng kanilang uh, maraming mga pinaplanong gagawin. The only one as of now that can stop that no? and can lead the world to stop these guys no? is Donald Trump. Yes. Isay Ariel, mainstream media really play an important role in destroying or building up an existing government. Do you want to comment on that, Benjamin? 
Yeah, really play an important role in, uh, in destroying the building. Yeah, it is yes. through the press. Yeah, so, uh, si, ano po, si uh, Alexander Hamilton, meron po siyang sinabi nung siya po yung si nasa... Benjamin? Hindi. Right? Si, doon po nung nagkaroon po ng uh, uh, pagtatatag ng uh, Estados Unidos. Alam niyo po yung 1776 revolution nila, mm -hmm. no? Tapos bandang 1800s, ano na nila, yung konstitusyon, umiiral na silang ganyan. At nakita po nila talaga yung press, yung media ang tawag natin ngayon, media kasi, kanila yung press yan, yung parang dyaryo. Dyaryo na iniikot na ganun, printing press. <laughs> oh. Tapos uh, may sinabi po si Alexander Hamilton noon, yung medyo siguro nagtanong sa kanya kung anong nasasabi niya tungkol sa press. Sabi niya, it was by the press the that the morals of this country have been destroyed. It should be by the press that they be restored. In other words, ang parang ang media, double-edged sword po yan. Pwedeng sumira at pwede ding magpahusay ng ating uh, lipunan. So, yan ang sinabi niya tungkol sa media. Mm. Oh, good, Gisay. Richie Sento Marcelo, on, on media also, medyo malapit na po mag-9. Oh, lampas na kami. 9 o'clock, ha? Grabe na ang influensya media dito sa atin, lalo na sa pinapalabas sa TV. Simula sa drama na nagpapakita ng pangangaliwa, pangaagaw, sigalot, Nawawala na rin ang paggalang sa nakakatanda gamit ang po at opo sa mga script at dialogue. Di pagsunod sa otoridad, lalo na sa batas, ang nagpapakita raw ng kalayaan kuno. Naglipanan na rin ang early relationship as early as 8 years old na itinuturing normal daw. Correct. Premarital sex ng magkasintahan, man-to-man -man relationship at minsan napapakita pa ng sex scenes na idina dahilang gawang sining, raw, freedom of art. Yan. Taliwas sa maayos na kaugalian at kulturang Pilipino ang pinapakita. Ano na lang kaya kinabukasan ng bansa? Ano po ang masasabi ninyo sa ganito? Sana pong masagot sa kali. Salamat. Kani kakasa kakasagot ko lang po ng tanong ninyo. Mm. It was by the media that the morals of this country have been ruined. It should be by the media that this be restored. Kinakailangan mm. po gagawa tayo ng gagamitin natin po ang mainstream media mm. uh, para iayos ang uh, pag uh, pagtuturo sa ating mga mamamayan mm. yung mga programming po ng mainstream media mm. must be must be also uh, looked into mm. ano po mga programa ano po mga nasa kultura na values na yes. ano po mga values mm. yan po sinasabi nyo ang gumawa niyan po yung media mm. ilinabas nila ang kalaswaan yan ayun kailangan ibalik natin mm. sa gusto natin Pero mag, mag, sino ba ang pinaka na influence ng media? Hindi po ba unang-una yung mga kabataan? No? Tayo po mga matatanda ay marami, sira na po tayo. No? <laughs> Pero yung mga mabaga, kinakailangan hmm. na kalagaan natin. Kalagaan natin para yeah. pagdating ng kanilang panahon, hmm. no? ay sila magbubuhay nung, nung tunay na tunay na Pilipino na gusto natin. Yes. Ino na nanginibabaw o na, at kasama mm. sa mga sa mga sangkatauhan, no? Yeah, yeah. Tama. Sa, sa pag sa taas ng dignidad ng sangkatauhan. Kung ano yung gusto niyo mangyari sa Pilipinas in the future, that's what you teach the youth of today. That's right. Yun lang. So Kung gusto niyong permissive sila, yan ang tuturo niya. Yan ang mga yan. So, Erlinda S. Mabe Garcia, mayroon nagkaroon ta Ah, mayroon. Nagkaroon tayo ng Coricom. Kati-kati. Ano yan? <laughs> <laughs> Roland Dalida. Dito sa Pilipinas ay Brown Lives Matter tayo. 
Actually, si Roldan, of course, you're joking, no? Pero, yung gusto mo namin sabihin na ayaw na ayaw ng mga Antifa at Black Lives is all lives matter. Mm-hmm. All lives matter. Yan ang ayaw na ayaw nila kasi hindi yun yung gusto nilang paano. Yun. Lahat ng buhay po, mm-hmm. importante. Sa mundo. Okay, eh, Christopher Cruz. A do 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 a da da da. Alam mo, kasi kami dati meron kami a do do do. Do tell the, do ke and do lie. Okay. Kaya na tawag namin a do 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 a da da da. Esteban pagtakahan si do 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 yan. Yung mga viewers ng katipunan. Virginia Malonso, good evening po mga sirs. Good evening. Rose Rialeda. Riolada, ano pong silbi na malampaya? True po ba? Less than 10% na lang sa Pinas doon. Oo. 10% na lang ang sa Pilipinas. Nagumpisa po yan, 70% sa atin. Mm-hmm. Ito pong si Ramos, ibinenta. No? Yung 60% at ang iniwan niya para sa bansa natin, 10%. Marigold, Rosie si Presidente Ramos ah. Yeah. Si Rosie President. Marigold. Sabi po nila flattening the curve na po. Pero bakit 3k up pa po ang new cases? Malaking bilang pa as of now. Updated po worldwide COVID tayo na lang ang malaking bilang every day. Huminto na po at wala na pong ibang bansa. Observe ko lang bakit kaya. 'Yon. Ina-adjust lang po nila yung oh. datos. Kailangan benta nila lahat ng face shield na binili nila. <laughs> Saka yung datos nila sa PhilHealth, ina-adjust lang yes. nila. Um, na, intay lang po tayo. <laughs> Eljan Lucas. Oy, si Eljan yung tumulong sa atin sa election. Ah, yes. Si so, Kabuch, Kaitas, uh, KDP. Taga San Juan. Taga San Juan. Long live. Eljan, long live ka. Uh, Jeremy Salvador, Matthew 24, verse 6, K- King, James King James Version. Yeah. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay. I like that. Glenn Buwan, thank you for extra time and effort to answer comments. Mabuhay. Salamat, Glenn, for uh, constantly uh, tuning in. Yes. So, hanggang dito na lang po tayo. Mm-hmm. Medyo nag-overtime na naman, pero <laughs> uh, at least buti nandito lang tayo sa, uh, sa studio. Okay. Kaya na wala po tayo mga... Uh, magagalit na mga komersyal o ano man. No? Uh, pa, hanggang sa linggo pong muli, magkita po ulit tayo at uh, uh, mabibigyan po namin kayo sana mm. ng mga iba-iba pang mga uh, pang mga mga balita yes. tungkol sa darating na panahon. At also Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday po. po uh, from now, by Tuesday, meron po tayong uh, Talakayang. Uh, talakayang Bayan, uh, kami pong tatlo nila, Toti at uh, RJ, at sa, dun sa earlier than uh, earlier than 8 o'clock, nandun po si Su- Sulong, uh, Sulong Pilipinas, uh, 5 o'clock ba yun? O 6? Ah? Tsaka si Toti Speaks na alas 7. No? Uh, Rita Gadi po Rita uh, is uh, five, 5 o'clock. No? Rita Gadi. Huwag niyo pong kalilimutan. Marami pong uh, nanonood dito kay Rita Gadi. Rita Gadi Hour. Tuwing Wednesday naman, mm-hmm. nandiyan na ba si Kathy? Napapanood na ba si Kathy? Si Kathy Cruz. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, anong oras si Kathy? 5 o'clock every Wednesday afternoon si Kathy Cruz. Mm-hmm. Dito sa kanyang... Uh, tam- ha? Tuklasin natin. Tuklasin natin. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, palagi ako nagkakamali doon sa title niya. <laughs> Tapos Say Thursday uh, and... Uh, uh, Saturday, more or less ganyan din po ang ating uh, programa. Uh, baka sa darating na panahon, magkakaroon po tayo ng Friday schedule. No? At uh, meron po tayong mga ibang kinakausap para mabigyan po kayo ng uh, uh, parang regular uh, programming. Mm-hmm. And every Sunday po, kaming dalawa uh, ni Itos ay uh, magkasama dito. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, nagpapasama ako kay Itos kasi... Eh, baka, si, alam nyo po, senior citizen na ako. <laughs> marami ako nakakalimutan. No? Uh, At marami naman siyang uh, alam na hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa nalalaman dahil uh, masigasig po siya magbasa. Mm-hmm. No? 
at nabibigyan niya po tayo ng magandang uh, background Context. sa tulad po ng nakikita niyong mga mga clips, mga mm-hmm. video clips, mga ganyan na mm-hmm. ay uh, nakikita niya at pinalagay niya para mas maganda po ang konteksto ng ating pag-uusap. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Ito po ang inyong uh, uh, kaibigan na si uh, Uch Valdez at ang aking pong, uh, panganay na si Itos Valdez. Maraming salamat po. Mm-hmm.